Wait, am I? Wait. No way they ended up queuing with 99. They learned they can let the observers. Nah, we got 99 players, baby. Now, chat, I'm going to have to say this 17 million times, but I will say it now to make it very clear. The points are their arena points. This is going to mean nothing. So, unfortunately, I'm going to have to have like a rough idea of where people are on the leaderboard, but there's no way in game for me to tell where someone is because it's their arena points. Midi was one off qualling, that means. That means Midi was one off qualling. All right. The sound's really weird. There we go. Okay, so Ocus. So we got Ocus going tilted with Unreliana, Genetic, and Zuko. There's no way Diego and Snacky are the only teams going Collider. There's just no way. All right, well, so Snacky wins. Like, there's just no way Snacky has half of Collider to himself in solos. Okay, Moose is dropping south side. So it's Moose, Diego, and Snacky. And then it is Whale and Elevate, bro. What year is it, man? It's, it's Epic Whale versus Elevate at Coney Crossroads, dude. There is no way Elevate keys Epic Whale. There's just no way. If anyone knows how good Whale is, it's, it's, it's Elevate. Yeah, Elevate Qual Chat. That is like World Cup Elevate. Like 100 Thieves Elevate. The one you're thinking of. Yes, it is Elevate. All right, Blake. Oh, it's Blake and Cl Clash Rooney Chat. If you guys didn't see it, we were kind of building up some beef on Arab Stream about this guy versus Blake. He basically said he bi he bitched Blake out of condo. So we'll see how that goes. I was trying to get Blake to key him, but it looks like he's not. Maybe he wasn't lying. All right, Vert and Elige are getting um, Bugle to themselves. Nani's on the split. I am, this is somewhat of an official broadcast, so I'm going to go with the split, chat. That is the split drop. The split. Four teams going logjam, though. Huh. Four players going logjam, I should say. And is one of them, unfortunately. That's not a good start. All right, Ceases. I love that. We, bro, we're watching a Fortnite tournament with Cease and Elevate. Like, what is happening? Cease and Elevate both made it. All right, now, remember, chat. I'm not going to be able to know who fights ahead of time without Fortnite Tracker, so I'm going to do my best to bring the, the fights, but I might miss a couple, okay? And because it's live spectator client, I can't go back in the replay to, like, check a fight we missed. Oh! Bro, you got to be ready for that bit. You almost lost that. Bro, to Chili Willy. Chili Willy almost went crazy. We almost lost to the big Chili Willy. Don't emote, homie. You almost lost. All right, Blake gets a kill, though. Yuz gets a kill. Oh, are we going to fight over here? Oh, Walk getting shot in the back by Costa right now, bro. We got a lot of Hispanic players here today. Got a lot of Hispanic players, actually. In the finals, too. Reed's getting greasy with one other player, bro. Reed might just be winning today, chat. And he has the Lambo. There's no way. Reed might just be winning today. Arab might be getting his content. Bully quality in two games, too. No way some kid only has a, a thousand. Who, put, who, who have we watched has a thousand arena points, bro? Wait, did Reed drop out of champs? No way Reed dropped out of champs. <laughs> bro, not even in champs. It's crazy. How many have we got? 92 alive. Damn. Epic could have Taxi. Nah, I don't think Epic's going to get Taxi. But he's more central, so Taxi will mean less. It's good to see that even on land, Epic loves giving us great zones for finals. Oh, G-Money. G-Money's got two pads, two splashes. Ritual's nearby, though. Got to be careful here. Oh, G-Money. G-Money. That would have shown footsteps, though. Oh, they're both sneaking. G-Money versus Rituals. And they're both sneaking. Yeah, Epic Whale's still chilling. Epic Whale's still chilling. If we if we lose real big player chat, I'll tell you. Why is it no minimap? It's a live spec glitch, unfortunately. It usually comes back. Yeah, two pads from Ruins is kind of crazy, huh? Oh my god, it's Catholic. <laughs> Mr. Capaholic. Oh, Mr. Capaholic. Going for the fight. Oh, almost got the double piece. Mr. Capaholic's playing aggressive here versus Jonathan Plays, I think it is. A little bit of a Diego Plays fan here. Could run into each other today. Oh, no, we're chilling. Okay. I'm trying to get the, the minimap to come back. It, it does come back usually. It doesn't usually take this long, though. All right, we got Zuko. Zuko and Tax are here at Tilted. 
I haven't checked in a day at all, actually. I haven't checked in a day at all. Day and Narwhal both dropping Joneses. Two pads and 11 splashes for Day. Hold up. Hold up. Day is, uh, wow. Narwhal, though. Narwhal. Bro, you don't want to blue me Day, even on land. What's Day running? Day's running Drummy Burst. No SMG. Interesting. It's crazy to see one of the best keys, peace control pump players running the Drummy. He was going crazy with the striker earlier in qualifiers, though. Oh, all right, now was in the bush now. Ted, if you see reported, that's the 28-year-old. Drum burst, yeah, drum burst is great for solos. I'm just saying it's crap. Oh, no, no, no. You got to kill him now, bro. You got to kill him now. You can't lose this bludge. You can't lose this bludge. Bludge. Only just, bro. If you're going to pull a rat play like that, you got to put him down quick. The fact that he almost just won that. Oh, it's all right. Bludge with the full battle royale-esque play, though. Little cheeky camp the, the chest. But wow, the fact that he almost just pulled that back, though, is crazy. Oh, Nani's not looking too healthy here. Bottom right's the boomer. Yeah, let's go, baby. This is reported chat. We met him today. He came up and said hi to me. No way he's... Brush camping? I respect it. This guy's 20. This guy's 27 turning 28, chat. He's our only hope. This is this is my hope right here. And he's in a bush, and I respect it. Shut up, chat. Don't judge him. Cole got a kill? No way Cole's fragging out, dude. RN Star's not looking too healthy, though. RN Star taking some damage. RN Star got a kill. Reed's rotating around the edge. Reed going for a full dead side to the islands. We got Goofy Meta in a fight right now. Nani down below. Oh, here we go. Statics. Statics in a bit of a fight right now. He's got a player above him. Tristan's taking some damage. Did Tristan get a kill? No, Tristan didn't get a kill. He just got beamed out of this one. Yes, Reed's making... Yeah, Reed knows where zone is, chat. You gotta remember, remember, Zeet... Oh, uh, Reed, sorry. Reed has... Um, he can buy a zone if he finds a, a vault in Greasy. Zuki's in a decent spot here as well. Snacky Lagana. Tozy Alpha, our only EU player chat. Tozy Alpha gets a kill. I'm not entirely sure where he is. Sorry. Again, I can't organize the points on the left. So it's going to be really hard for me to find. Uh, once I learn where they're all dropping, it'll be better. Give me a couple games, but. Oh, Cole taking some damage. Bro, imagine Tozy, Tozy Alpha wins. He's a fortress. Ah, there he is. No way. Imagine Tozy Alpha wins. He's got the seven, though. What the f Holy loadout. Okay. Tozy Alpha right now. Double gold, two pad, five splash, three big, six minis. Literally 150 max mats. EU is looking crazy right now. Every time I watch Tozy Alpha chat, he's just going to be EU. Like, he is, the, he is the representation of EU as a region. So I hope you guys believe in Tozy Alpha. Oh, he's, oh, he's keying. Oh, he is definitely EU. We are getting in right now. I don't think we even keep. I don't think we even tag this guy, but we know that he's cracked. Oh, we're gonna. Oh, we're gonna cannon. Oh, I don't know about that. The cannon rotate instead of hitting the. Okay, we didn't hit the collider. That's okay. Bro, look at the amount of players in zone, dude. Cease is playing zone. He's got six flash, six big, two. Oh, sorry, six minis, two bigs. Quinn's also making his way in. It is cool. We're going to make some new names here today, Chad. If some of these guys pop off, they're going to be like the new... Like, you know, they're going to be the new names. Oh, bro. Reet. Obviously, Reet new, bro. Reet new zone was coming out here. Reet chilling. Day chilling. OG's chilling. We got some good... We got some big players with good loadouts in good spots and zones. Oka's looking good as well. There's a lot of really good players here. Yeah, OG hasn't even left his loot path yet. OG's still looting. No, there's five games tonight, Chad. Five games. This is game one. Oh. Quinn in a weird spot right now, though. I'm not I'm not sure. What, yeah, I think Quinn's just trying to get in right now. He could use the Terry. He could use Terry's hole. Try to rotate here. Get a little bit of elevation going. 
<laughs> you don't like that name, Mary? So you don't want me to call it that? Okay. It's a giant blowhole of the dinosaur called Terry. I'm just trying to make the comms a little bit snappier. Sorry, my bad. Why is there 20 people right there? Because this is one of the worst zones you can ever get, ever. Like, look at this zone, bro. It pulled max to water and then max again. This zone is like... These guys who dropped west are rotating to Narnia. It's a Terry Tate? Alright, we'll call it a Terry Tate. Ooh, nice. Pitbot gets a kill on the Chaos. Gets a pad out of it too. Statics is still deep back here as well. Any West players going to Sweden? Yeah, I think quite a few, bro. I think Whale was talking about going today. I think Snacky's been talking about going. There's going to be quite a few, man. Like 33, 33 is sending a bunch of uh, a bunch of their players. So that means like if 33 is sending players, that's half of West. Blake takes some damage. He's got med miss two minis. Ooh, builds in time though. Blake can't get the shots through. Blake's ooh above. Okay, maybe Blake got some damage onto the old mate at condo. Who's going to be below Surge? Let's do some Surge checks if we can here. Snacky. 114 above. Snacky's actually not that far above. Is Day going to Sweden? I mean, I don't want to leak, but Day was talking to me about going to Sweden like half an hour ago. So maybe. I think he wants to. Oh, we got a bit of a ricochet on the on the cannon, but not too bad. How, how's the boomer going? A boomer's worst nightmare. Having to fight people. It is quite scary with the age of this lobby, but we'll see if Reporter can do it. 51 below. He's 100 100 with shield, but we got we got to do something here man. We got to we got to get moving. Come on report it. You got this baby. Our mats aren't the greatest, but we got this. We're going to get a refresh, I believe. Yeah, Colazo quote, McGreed, he quote on a different controller too. Oh, Cease is making his way in. Luco is also 27. No way, there's two boomers in the lobby. Let's go. Re fighting, bro. There's no way. Re and Day are next to each other, though. Wait, Re's fighting Day? Nah. No way, Re might be. Oh, okay, guys. You got to chill. Wait, who needs Surge? They both need Surge, bro. We have Re and Day. Re's 100 above. Day is only 30 above. We got Re and Day trying to get Surge on each other. Surely they're going to give this up. Day might know that's Re based on the skin, even though half of the kids wear that skin now, though. Capaholic goes down. Day's got to try and get some damage up, and he keeps looking at Reed, man. If this happens, I'm not missing it, chat. I'm not missing it. The drummy is out. Day might be going for this. Wait. Nah. Reed, chill, bro. Chill. All right, zone. Oh, zone pulls on top of both of them. So they know they've got zone, so maybe try and find some damage somewhere else. Don't risk the positioning. Only four players have to go down. i got to imagine they're going to be fine there. Snacky, meanwhile... 200 above in a very congested part of zone. Moose is right next to Snacky here. So is Oxy, Tristan. Quinn's on the edge. Nate's trying to make his way in. Oh, no. Snacky is fighting, bro. Snacky's getting active. Snacky goes down to 62 health. Bro, Snacky looking real rough right now. Pops the minis, but he's down to 62 health, 50 shields. This could be very sketchy right now for one of the favorites. Snacky needs some white heals. He needs a kill. And there's a lot of teams around him, but it also means the third-party potential right now is really big. If Snacky doesn't play this smart, this could be really bad trying to find a refresh on one of these players. All right. I think Day and Reed chilled out a bit. Oh, no. No, they did not. Oh, maybe chilled out a bit? I'm not sure. Maybe not. No, they both, they, they got tags on each other, but they're not full committing just yet. All right, Snacky looks like he's settled. I think Snacky's settled down now. We're going to see this next rotate. There's quite a few people on this edge right now to be careful about. One of them's getting hit by Surge. It's Ace who's being hit by Surge right now. No, it's not. He got tagged. Never mind. Surge is turned off. Sorry. He has got tagged. Wild Lake. What? Oh, we got another team's fighting over here, though. Ben K is getting keyed. 31 builds. Five minis. Seems like people are happy to get a couple tags and leave it. I don't think people are going full aggressive yet in finals. All right, Day and Reed still next to each other, Bubba, as we know. Nerf face over here next to OG. 
Costa's next to Colazo, Diego, K-Verbs, Ali, Zuki, C, Snacky, Vert, bro, this lobby. We got Elevate, which if, if you're asking is Elevate, that is the Elevate you're thinking of. Wale, though. Wale on literally displaying as zero health, which means he had... He had, an, he had half a HP, essentially. Just jumped in with a harpoon and one pump this kid to keep going. Ben K, keeping Wale's dreams alive. Jeez. If you guys don't know, health in Fortnite does come in decimals. So it means that it was enough decimals to round up to one in-game, but in replay it showed a zero. So he was literally as one HP as you can get. Oh, Clash of Rooney goes down. All that smack talk with Blake. Couldn't back it up, unfortunately, in game one. We'll have to see how game two goes. Nerves over here as well. Beast Lion. Phantom. There's Blake. Blake's still going pretty. So right now, Blake getting the last laugh. Ochus. Six minis, two bigs, two splashes. Looking really good right now. Epic gets a kill. Whale gets up on the leaderboard. I think that's Whale's first kill of the game. OG still in a beautiful spot. Where does zone pull? Who gets it? Oh, beautiful zone pull for Colazzo. k -Burbs, Diego Leash. All those guys we mentioned all have half-half potential. Snacky's down there as well. Tax on the edge. We've got a lot of good players who get this zone now. Everyone's waiting to move. We'll have to see. Waiter G makes the move, and now the lobby focus comes out. He's got six armor walls, probably. Armor wall! Build the armor wall box, bro. Go, go. Everything. Don't die with six floppers and six minis with six armored walls. There we go. We are chilling. Okay. Whew. He's got three elims, though. Okay. Waiter going kind of crazy here. Fluga still here. Is Day still going? Yeah, trust me. You'll know if Day dies. Chat will tell you. Don't you worry. If I miss it, wait. Oh, there's Day. I was about to say. Oh, never mind. Okay, Day is... Day's 53 builds, though. Wait, is Surge? No, Surge isn't going off. Nine players have to go down for Surge to go away. We're still in fourth zone, though, so we'll probably get Surge for a few players. This is really stacked for solos. Day's got two pads, 53 builds. Still zero elims, though. Day came fourth in qualifiers, finished off with an eight Elim win in last game. So Day and Day and Reed are close, but not on top of each other. Bludge, who's cracked on the other side of this wall. Day's getting aggressive. Report is still alive. Let's go. Oh, seven below. Not a position we're used to seeing Day in. Below on surge. Never oh, never mind. 66 above. But still, that's not really enough. He's gonna need a few more tags, but he needs mass. He's got 400 bills. Luckily for him, it's all hard mats, but you don't want to be going into endgame with 400 mats. Oh, here we go. Day. Oh, Day with a beautiful cone. This player, Bludge, right now has got no shield either. He's got to be scared right now. No shield. He won't know it's Day, but he's got to know it's someone good. Day is feeling confident. Day is trying to get PC with it. Gets the stare through. No, he doesn't get the stare in. Right hand peak. Bludge gets sprayed down. Day's going to back off, but Day's going to have to start really making something happen here. Here we go. Splash is coming out, but every bit that Blood uses, Day's not going to get off the refresh. Only five players have to go down. I think Day's health's going to hold. Colazzo died. Chat's informing me, unfortunately. Samples over here on the edge as well. Oh, Kazzy gets a beam onto Bray, who's now got no shield. He's 16 below, though. Kazzy's going to have to get active. 15 above now. Next is 400 above. Zone's pulling across over here, so you don't want to go down right now. If you pull zone over here on half-half, you don't want to go down. So right now, Squish gets zone. Jonathan plays Unreliana. Quanti, but Jonathan plays, gets absolutely beamed. I believe that was by Quanti. It was. Meanwhile, Bully sending his way into zone. Bully's going to grab that airdrop. Haven't seen Bully play for a little bit, but he's showing up big in solos again. Let's see how the big boys make the rotate. We got Vri, Day, Report it. We got OG. All these players not getting zoned. PD Plague, meanwhile. Gets a kill on a trilogy. Oka's got to make this rotate too. Looks like Oka's going to go for the run rotate. Ooh, we're going to take a fair bit of damage for it too. Oh, Snacky goes down to Vert. Snacky goes down on the rotate, unfortunately. Very unfortunate for one of our favorites here. Meanwhile, Bully's made that rotate. Let's see how Reet fares. If he can do better than Snacky can. Reet. Just sitting waiting. Gonna drop a pad. Reet's gonna hit his pad. He's gonna take that. Looking really good on the way in. No one's going for him just yet. I mean, someone's going, but no one's hitting the shot. So Reet makes it down. Ocus makes it in. OG makes it in. Kazi goes down to Bludge, though. 
Quinn's in this one down here as well. So is Elise. So is Wale. Report it. No, report it goes down. Backside of zone. He makes top 50 players though. All right. One Elon, two pads for Reed. Reed could go crazy here, chat. Oh, I've got, okay, chat. I'm going to do this. I've got Epic Whale, Nexi, and Reed. Only one button from each other. So we're going to focus heavily on Reed and Whale here. Are we okay with that, chat? Because it's going to be really hard to do drone shots right now. Yeah, I was about to say, I think Reed landed in his box. Yeah, Reed landed in his box, and then someone stole the kill. All right, Whale's got two Elims, 17 builds. Meanwhile, Reed's got two pads, 136. So all eyes on Whale. Try and find a big refresh here. Whale's going to have to find something. Whale's got a lot of... Uh, a lot of performers to live up to. It's been years, but obviously third place at World Cup in case you guys are new to Fortnite. Epic Whale is the highest placing uh, World Cup player here today. Doing it in solos too. Day is still alive. Whale's now looking for something, bro. Whale's hunting for something. He needs to find it. 16 tag. He's going to get Surge. He needs Surge and he needs a refresh. The, the caliber of lobby we have here today, chat, is that Epic Whale has two Elims and is 38 below Surge. This is some of the best solo games we have seen in a very, very long time. Epic Whale trying to find the pad. He knows his player went for it. He's trying to have to get the Ennis. The stair comes out. Whale's got a scuff short pad and he doesn't land. 12 HP. Oh my gosh. Whale, one step from catching himself at any point there and he would have 100% died. Zero builds. That's it. Whale's got zero builds. He's down on the low ground. He's 38 below surge. He's got zero builds. Unless the leash gives him something. Whale is going to go down. Reet still pushing through though. Day goes down to Vert. Reet 380 above. Reet already today having such a dominant performance in qualifiers. Proven a lot of people wrong. A lot of rumors wrong here. And Reet hits the 100 tag. Takes down someone. I think it was... I don't know who this was, but Diego jumps the box and he hits a maxi on the squish. Reed with the quick double kill. Reed now on three eliminations pushing forward. 113 builds. Reed's on the low ground. Proven everybody wrong. 100 builds. Nexi goes down. Still got Bludge. Still got Zuki's up here as well. But Reed on the low ground right now is going crazy. Diego gets another kill. It might very well be Diego on the high ground. Let me check. We currently have Diego on the high ground. How many kills have we got? We got four kills for Diego up above. We got Nostra still in this one. We got OG trying to make his way to front side. 28 builds. Quinn's going to go down. Thorik's going to go down. Can Lu though, trying to find his way through this one if he can. Diego, though, still up above. Reed goes down to Zuko. A little bit of NA West on NA West action there. Liege goes down. But the story right now is for Diego plays on high ground. 42 builds. Four Elims. Three splashes. Zuko one shot from going down and Diego just can't get it to connect. Guanti's also going to fall over here as well. Rituals goes down. Tristan goes down. But all eyes on Diego to try to close this one out. He has every advantage he needs. Meanwhile, PD Plague, zero builds on low ground. A different story. Unreliana still here. Cutie Divine. Nossin. There's a lot of good players still in this one. But right now, Diego's above it all. And PD Plague's trying to play this one single build that he has. The zone's going to pull back here. 11 players left. This is the first game, in case you guys just tuned in, of DreamHack Finals. Unreliana. Still trying to have his big performance in a team game mode, but Unreliana always been known as a solo player. Unreliana's playing a safe right now. Unreliana's not going for anything. Saying his name wrong. How do you say It's PD Plague. Like, what? Isn't it? Zuki takes down Bludge. Plague goes up, hits the Harpoon, and Plague's going to go down, unfortunately. Goes down to Ace Can. Diego still putting down the pressure on this one. Waiter's in this, sitting back, playing the meds. He's got five uses, that's it. He's only got five left in the med miss. Flopper goes down, misses the shot, gets a bit too impatient, and right now, Canlu with the patience on the right hand peak closes it out. Cutie Divine on four Elims, also zero builds. Diego drops down. Diego with a mat advantage in a 1v1. Normally doesn't lose these, but Divine. 20 HP on the low grounds. And he's going to go down. Quanti pops the med, med kit. Still has two med miss, but only 20 and 25. So not a lot here. Goes for the mantle play. Diego sees it coming, though. Quanti unfortunately jumps off the high ground. Zuki's now right hand peak. Someone gets the edit on him. Doesn't hit the shot, though. Nossin. He's got Zuki's on the back foot. Zuki's going to have to play so well to get himself out of this one. The movement is impeccable right now, but Zuki's is running for his life. 3 HP goes down to zone. Ace Canlu, Nossin, and Diego 
looking to try and take out the first game dub of the first land event we've had in a very long time. Diego on the right hand peak, 15 builds. He immediately he goes down, lands in the water. Luckily for him, one of the only players happy this was an island zone, but no, he goes down. Meanwhile, on the low ground, we have Nossen and we have Kanlu up above. Six Elims and then five Elims, 23 builds versus zero. So Nossen right now has the advantage, has the medkits, but you're not gonna play medkit at this point. 13 HP, the angle that Ace Kanlu just found. Nossen has to hit a maxi, 73 holds him out to zone. I think he did it. Nossen clutches it up on three HP. The six Elim Vic Roy. I think it might be seven. It didn't count. I'm not sure. Six Elim win. Game one for Nossen. Super unfortunate for Diego there. Almost had it. And he goes down. Good game, man. Very good game. All right, let's do it, chat. Game number two. All right, let's see it. Let's see if anyone changes the drops. Oh, next one in the States, I'm not sure, Crimpy. Someone, if you guys go to DreamHack's website, they have them all listed. But yeah, next one in the States, I'm not entirely sure, homie. Sorry. I mean, the next event you could probably go to is TwitchCon San Diego, man. I would probably highly recommend that too. That'll be really fun. All right, where are we got? Again, chat, the in-game leaderboard is their arena points, not their points in the overall tournaments. So I'll do my best to follow the big names, but we'll see. This is not good. Is that Snacky? Bro, Snacky is so lucky. Oh, no, don't die to an NPC. Bro, that kid, Snacky should 1 million percent be dead right now. Heiser, I don't want to put you on blast, bro. I'm going to assume it's land nerves, but you cannot be missing those. I'm happy you missed because I want to watch Snacky, but bro, Snacky, you're not going to die to an NPC, right? Okay, we're chilling. Dude, Snacky is so lucky this guy missed. Ocus gets a kill though. Ooh, Ocus goes back to Tilted and beats out Tax. 5 HP. Ocus lives on 5 HP. Unlucky, bro. I met Tax today, too. He's a lovely dude. I feel bad. It's so. It's just going to lands and meeting the people that are playing this tournament makes this so much cooler. Plague takes down Wale. I'm trying to see who's going to be fighting here, man. I don't see him. It looks like they're about to be fighting. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Walk FNBR in the drum shotgun off. 18 HP wins with the drummy again. I'm not gonna lie. If in 20, if this is the last day that I ever have to hear that gun, I won't be sad. Just saying. Tifu's Ocus, bro. No way, Ocus is Tifu's Ocus. That, <laughs> bro. Tifu's Ocus, man. I wonder how Ocus feels about that. Yo, bro, is that Tifu's no build Twitch rivals trio teammate? <laughs> like play with him for one tournament. Like, I get, like, the, is that Tifu's teammate with Scopes, but come on, man. It's Ocus, dude. You got to give Ocus, like... He played with him a couple times. All right, I'm really honest out here. Ooh, Tankle's in a really rough spot right now. Rocking the Advid fit, too. The Triple Ranger Harpoon. Bruh. With G-Money on your head. That Like, one of the best creative players in NA. This is just not the position you want to be in. You know what you can... Um, just do... Um, Maris, just do a, like, pick, like... We'll just show, like... We'll do whale. Just pick whale. Dude, does whale make top 20, chat? This is whale's loadout. Does the whale make top 20 this game? He's got half of Coney, pad, good loadout so far. Do you think whale gets top 20 this game? I think he's silver with the prime. Ooh, Nossen's in a rough spot right now. Nossen had a fantastic game one. Nossen's got to be careful now. Did you talk to Elevate? I did, man. I love Elevate was one of the first pros that I met, dude, in uh, at AO 2019 when like no one knew who I was. I introduced him to Halal Snack Packs and we bonded over our love for Halal Snack Packs. One of the greatest foods of humankind. Bro, I can't believe... Look at Snacky's loadout from being 5 HP and a dude whiffing, like, four shots. Like, Snacky is so lucky this game. You calibrate with two on for three. Chad, this is game two of five of the finals. Log 
Mogadorf goes down to jam. Looks like we're not fighting right now. I'm trying to find who I think is going to be fighting. Bro, I don't know, chat. Blake's looking pretty scared of this kid. Blake got one kill, but he seems really scared to push over south for Clash Rooney. Maybe the guy was onto something. That's all I'm saying. You interviewing the winner? Nah, it'd be too hard to do, man. It'd be too hard from over here. Maybe, like, Arab can do something sick for that, but it'd be too hard for me. So, you, can you guys hear the yelling, can you? I wish that was a Fortnite crowd, though, so you can, like, hear when big moments happen, but that's fine. Ooh, Tozy Alpha, EU right now. Pushing on to Osp. Ooh, it's Ospa. Ooh, Tozy. This is, this is the only EU player here today, chat. If you're an EU fan, your hopes and dreams rest in Tozy Alpha's hands. We've had a lot of debate over whether EU is better than NA. So if Tozy Alpha doesn't win today, it's official. NA is better than EU. It's just it's how it works. Oh, the big 120 tag. He's in right now, but he's in the box. Doesn't have any of the piece here. Tozy Alpha's got to try and get out now. He's going to try and turn his back on him. Wait till Sweden? Nah, 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 bro. This is, this is, this is, until Sweden, NA is better than EU. Don't even look at the odds. It's like 1 to 99. It's fine. Never heard of this dude? Tozy Alpha? Nah, Tozy Alpha's good, bro. I, yeah, if you follow EU, you know Tozy Alpha, but I'm obviously kidding. He's one of, he's one of 99 players. The fact that he, the fact the only EU player that came quelled in two games already says a lot. Oh, we got Chili Willy in a fight. Ooh. Gets the wall up, but doesn't have any piece where he can actually get a shot through. He's got Plot FC beneath him. 37 builds. Purple shotgun, though. Meanwhile, Chili Willy's only got green shotgun. He's got the minis, though. Thank you, Christ. I appreciate the Prime Man. You Calibrate. Silver. Thanks for subs. Zoe. Phasma. Thanks for subs, homies. What game's the crowd for? Uh, Counter-Strike's usually the biggest tournaments at DreamHack, so it's probably a Counter-Strike thing. Tozy Alpha ends up taking down Osp. I feel bad, man. I tuned out. No, only one EU player came to Dallas. All the EU players are going to Sweden, chat. EU is going to, like, have, like, the majority at Sweden, for sure. But Dallas, most of them didn't. Tozy Alpha's the only one who came. Ooh, we got Snacky versus versus is it Hazaya? now this guy struggled to put down snacky at the start when he had no gun i don't know his chances here beating snacky in a box fight we'll see he's, he's looking a bit scared to me but hey he's holding the right hand peeps oh does he lose the wall he doesn't lose the wall snacky snacky finds his way in 80 tag bro this is not who you want to be box fighting man this is snacky lagana you want to get out of there as quick as you can you made the mistake letting him live the first time Too good, man. He's too good. Thank you, Apple. Appreciate the Prime, man. Yeah, that feels so bad when you have someone to one bullet on spawn, you don't kill them, and they fight you later and kill you. Like, that's going to burn. That's definitely going to burn. Snacky's still kind of chilling. So, wait, chat. It was Nossin and who else at the very end in game one? I feel bad that I've forgotten. There's so many names going through my head. I know it was Nossin and it was someone else. Kenlu, that's it, Kenlu, thank you. I want to try and find him real quick if I can. So that's our first place right now, is Ace Kenlu. There he is. All right, so this is first place right now, up there with Nossin. Not looking super healthy, though. And unfortunately, we've lost the minimap, but that's fine. Where's Recon? I want to check in on Re... Oh, Unreliana, though. Oh, Unreliana's chilling. Where'd Rico? Epic Whale's over here. One pad, two, two armors, five minis, three bigs, med mist. Bully's over here next to him as well. Where's Reed? Reed's probably gone center, right? Because Reed's got zoned by. No, where is Reed? Oh, here's Reed. Reed's not center. Did he not get the Lambo? Oh, he got the Lambo. He's chilling. Two pads, 12 splashes, six minis. Only a gray shotgun out of Greasy, though. That's a bit unfortunate. 
Plaza's got the God Surge spot right now. One big four minis pad. ARSMG. I think pads are bugged for it. Yeah, chat, the pads might be bugged. We've had that today happen where people don't have pads and we thought they did. Ooh, Ben K goes down to Thoric. No, it goes down to Zuki's. I think Zuki's stole. No, never mind. It's Zuki's, yeah. Itchy shush. hate that the leaderboard though doesn't show me the fact that like if, if, bro if we have live spec for sweden and the in-game leaderboard is in compete tabs or the actual leaderboard like oh because i'm definitely getting live spec at sweden again this is hopefully it's um hopefully it's also oh, OC. going around the outside right now trying to see what he can do to find his way into this one hopefully it's in the compete tab and, oh the damage comes out onto Oopsie. Three flops, six means he's going to have to use them now. The SMG coming out big against the drummy. Epic has the taxi. No way, no way Whale got the taxi. That's big. I didn't even notice. I was looking at chat. What's up, Pinocchio? This is game two of five. Sample goes down. Thank you, Rim, with the prime. 72 below right now. It's so Oxy. It's going to have to be careful in this one. Phantom taking some damage. Oh, Oxy gets his damage back now. 104 above. Nice. Gets the finish off there. Oh, Ace Ken. You guys tell me you got a kill. He did. First place gets a kill. Gets a big mat refresh too. 300 above. Check Reed Surge. Reed's only 35 above. Let's see if Reed can get his damage up here then. Yes, he can. Oh, no, he can't. No mind. He didn't get that much damage. Thank you, Dadger, with the Prime. Quiet now. I'm waiting to see if he gets his damage. He's only got a couple tags. He's going to need more. There we go. Oh, whoops. What's happened to audio? What the heck is going on? There we go. Chat. Don't be annoying about watching your specific player. There's 98 players in the lobby. I'm doing my best. If it's someone I haven't heard about as much, I'm obviously not going to watch them as much as the big pros that we have storylines built up for. That's just how anything in life works. It's pretty self-explanatory. I'm going to do my best to cover what I can, but I don't know who's about to fight or who's about to die. Forty-seven below. Noob's gonna get some damage. He's trying to hold this one out though. Zuko managed to beat him out with the sprays though. Zuko gets the kill. There's a lot of players on this edge down here. One hundred and forty-four above. Oxy's still down here as well. Narwhal. Day is just beneath Narwhal. How much surge have we got for Day? 44 above. Day's been pretty close on surge last couple games now. Day's not straight king. He's trying to play a bit smarter for his surge. Put him in some sketchy spots though. Oh, and we lost the map. Oh no, we're back. <laughs> is that the collider, bro? Oh my god. Okay, if you guys don't know again, live event tomorrow, 4 p.m. ET. I'm going to be live at like 3 p.m. ET or maybe like 3.30 right before the Collider event. And I'm going to be live for 24 hours after that unless I die. Well, Jam and Thoric kind of in a, in a face-off here, but they both have their surge, so I don't know. We'll see. 
Thank you, Bank of the Teal, for buying this. All that matters, bro. It's all that matters. Day, day, day around the outside. 57 above. Trying to make his rotate in. Got to be careful. This is a congested side of zone. This is a ridiculously congested side of zone right now for Day. Yeah, Day's mass down to 46 is looking rough. Tozy Alpha goes down. Super unfortunate. Iron Star goes down too. Day does make his way in. Is he going to try and go for a refresh though? Nah, I think Day's happy with his rotate now. He's going to box up. I don't know if Day's going to jump in for a refresh. I just I have a feeling Day's about to try to do something. Zuko's getting some shots, shots in as well. Zuki's been kind of locked in this one for a little bit. Zook, oh, Zuki's hits the rotate. Remember, Zuki's like top five right now, I think. Kalazo takes down Ketsui. Zuko has four elims, does he? My bad. Or oh, Luko is it? Sorry, Luko has four elims. Day goes down. I knew I should have kept watching. Day goes down to Oxy. Doric takes down a Liege. It's so hard not knowing who's about to fight. Josh. 47, 20, zero. Josh goes down to Batman Jeff. But Day is down and out out of this one. Super unfortunate. Reese found himself on dead side though. Really pushed his way in a little bit more. 132 builds. He's got 11 splashes total. Regain some good damage on a Moppy. High ground, dead side. Half, half potential now. Looking fantastic. Nani with three pads nearby. Quinn, 120 builds. SMG, Drummy. He's got good meds. Quinn's looking real healthy right now. Probably the best we've seen Quinn look today. Snowy Soul, he kind of impressed me during the qualifiers. My man plays very aggressive. Zuko still in this one too. Oh, Snowy's playing it, guys. I talk about aggression. Snowy's making a move on Zuko. Kalazo goes down to Nexi. No. Kalazo down and out. Let's check on Whale. Check on Whale. There we go. 150 builds for Whale. Whale gets the refresh. I think this might be Kalazo's loot. I don't know if this is Kalazo's loot, but Whale is looking really good. But there be light. Epic Whale is basing out with the extra mats he now has too. Tankle taking some damage out of the sky. Wait, wasn't this the guy who was being held down by G-Money with like zero loot? Oh, he's 58 below though. Now 11 above. Next is in this one too, putting down some shots. Oh, Fluga. Six below, got to find some damage. Three minis, one med miss, so not a lot to work off here if he doesn't get the damage up. But again, only... I don't know how many players are alive now. The thing's gone. <laughs> oh, unlucky. All right, we've lost our mini-map, unfortunately. We're still in this one, too. I don't think any of our big names need Surge right now. Reese kind of chilling. G-Money, never mind. G-Money's 49 below. What's up, Otis? Thanks for sub, bro. You Cannon, Cost, Bing. Thanks for subs, guys. G Money, what are we doing, bro? I can't see what you're looking at right now, but you're gonna have to find something. Nani's there, man. Are we keying Nani? What are we doing? Blake, meanwhile, on the edge, no shields. 56 above. I'm trying to make a really tough rotate, getting held in by Whale and a couple others right now. Maybe G Money's getting a few tags off this, but I don't think this is gonna end well for Blake. Blake's on the back foot. Blake's on no foot right now, to be honest. Blake is going down. Cease is gonna get a kill as well. G Money though, 48 below. G Money didn't end up king. G Money left it too late. No! It was Nani who took down Blake. Damn. G Money's gonna go down here as well. Pity playing. One of the players did really well game one. Looking real strong. Is our first place still up? First place is still up right now. Ace Canlu. One pad, three minis, med missed. Still in first. 25,000 little prize pool finals here today, chat. Genetics gonna go down here. Pitbot. 
take him out. Rachel's here on the low ground. Nani making his way through. I don't know, Cole. I don't know, bro. Nani here makes his way to makes his way to half half. 120 build, two pads. We all heard Nani's level of passion today. We might get another Nani scream. Never mind. Nani gets out of there. Plagues on putting down some good damage on him. OG still in this one too. OG still going. OG made half half as well. Bully's trying to make a pretty late rotate here. Vert's on the high ground. Nexi, Nossin, who is our tied. I think tied for first place going into this game is looking really not healthy. Cease is still going. Reed's over here on the edge looking healthy. Quanti, Squish. I'm going to try and give you guys a good shot so you can you can spot any of the pros you care about. Snacky gets an Elim. Didn't mean to click on him. Here you go, chat. This is the whole lobby right now. This is everyone. In case you got to keep eyes on your favorite pro. Everyone's going to start making that rotate towards this south side. We're pulling into the fortress. Rich homie Quinn on the high ground. Quinn high and above it all, but he's looking for that pad, but he's really far away from finding it. Reek gets a kill on the dozy. I don't, know what, I don't know what this guy's looking for. I don't know what this Jeremy guy's looking for, though. I don't know why he's building up on Reed. Thank you, Lapsen, for the five gifted. Thank you, homie. Appreciate you, man. Thank you so much. For Cole? Let's go, Lapsen. That's my boy. All right, Quinn's going to make the rotate now. Quinn's playing the splashes real deep. Quinn, we got to get going, broski. Oh, never mind. We're going to get a freebie on the bludge, maybe. What is happening? Guys, this... Storm's that way. Not sure what we just did. I think Quinn just... I love Quinn to death. I think maybe it was just waiting for someone to drop a pad. I knew there wasn't really anyone to drop a pad near him, but it's unfortunate there. Blood just takes down Batman Jeff. Oka's still on the low ground. Quanti's still in this too. On the low ground too. There's a lot of big teams on low ground. Bludge makes it in after that, after that play. A little bit confused what was going on there, but Bludge makes it. We got Diego plays. We got Reed still going strong too. Snacky on the high ground. Snacky 64 builds, six splashes, looking fantastic right now on the high ground. We got Reed taking down Squish down below. We got we got Ocus going down. Cease now going to be in the always oh, going to be on the receiving end of Snacky's beams and Cease. Lucky to actually make it down. I'm not going to lie, Snacky. Oh, someone lands on Snacky. It's a big shot in the back. Who is this? It is Reed, of course. We have TSM FTX on TSM FTX. Reed goes down. Luckily finds the second pad. 112 builds. Reed looking crazy right now. He's been on Diego. Reed on Diego. The 130 tag for Diego. What was that? Diego with what must be one of the most insane 180s I've ever seen to just body Reed and put him down to 9 HP. I have no clue what Diego just hit. 86 builds left though. Reed is still going song. Tristan's still in this one as well. Moose still going, but who's on the high ground? Is it still Diego? It's not. It's Narwhal versus Diego versus Snacky. And Snacky goes down to Narwhal. Narwhal up above. Narwhal versus Diego. Diego going for the peace control. Narwhal's going to drop down. He's only got two splashes left. That's it. Going to have to be careful. Two builds. Epic Well gets an Elim in the feed as well. Mopey's down here on the low ground. PD Plague still going. Nani on two Elims. Jastin, zero build, sitting on the second high. He's got to be careful. He's going to piss off someone, and it is his nerf face. Nerf face jumps down and takes him out. Epic Whale, meanwhile, 14 builds, one Elim. Epic Whale on the low ground. Well, actually, mid ground right now. A few layers up from low ground. It's the water zone. Whale doesn't want to go down the water. Two freebies. Whale putting himself in a beautiful position to get two absolute freebie eliminations. Now he's going to sit in zone. He's going to wait with his double med mist. He's going to drop down and grab these mats. He's not going to swap out for the higher med mist. Probably wants to keep it going, but Epic Whale, he can't let go of the med mist, but he can't build either. Whale, 5 HP, 21 shield. He's got to hit something, and no, he goes down. Nexi is going to be the one to put him down with six Elims right now for Nexi. Meanwhile, we have a player very weak. Nexi is the... Oh, the player's beneath him. Never mind. The player's in the water. It's not Nexi with the beautiful mechs right now. Clean edits from Nexi to hit the big shot. He knows the players beneath him. And no, Tristan. Tristan on 5 HP with the jump shot. Puts down Nexi. We have Moose, Nerface, and Nani going at it here in the final minutes of this game. Five builds, 21 builds, and 39 up above. Nerface back against the zone right now. 
in zone. Five bills in the water now. Just not where you want to be. It's so awkward. Zero bills. Nerface got to get on Nani. He can't. He slides. It's now Nani versus Moose. Moose has got to be the best editor Fortnite player we've ever seen. Moose, who has won NA West Cash Cups, now potentially going to win a game at land. Moose jumps in with the peace control. An eight Elim win for the editor pro Moose. If you guys don't know what I mean by editor, Moose actually built a name for himself editing montages for pros and just pulled off an eight Elim win on land. Moose is teed, bro. Moose is teed. All right, let's see it, baby. Game three, chat. Game three. Why am I not like on someone? There we go. Yeah, chat. Yeah, chat had a yeah. Chad had a, a VTube set. I'm going. He has a little robot. All right, day and narwhal still going here. I think honestly, I feel like colliders where it's almost getting spicy every game, but it's like just not. Let's see what Snacky does. The karma? No, the karma. Heiser lets Snacky live and Snacky lets Heiser live. Obviously, I don't mean let as in like their teaming. I think they just both just missed that one extra shot. A little bit of karma though, man. Oh, it's Hazaya, sorry. We'll see if Hazaya can uh can now go and kill Snacky the same way Snacky beat Hazaya afterwards. Okus lands tilted again, but he didn't land straight on tags. Oh, another person's landed greasy. Muscling in on Reese loot. Reese now got an extra opponent. Meanwhile, Blake, though, here we go. Wait, Blake's getting in a fight, but it's not against it's not against Clash of Rooney. It's against someone else. Blake now in the 1v1. Pretty sure Blake just shot through his toes. Blake just hitting the Diplodocalus. One of the cleanest emotes after you've just been someone in a tournament. Nothing burns more than getting Diplodocalus. Actually, Donkey Laugh definitely wins, but, you know, it's up there. It's up there. Oh, Cease pushing up onto K-Burbs. Does Cease not know K-Burbs is there? Evidently not. Bro, K-Burbs getting PC with it. Cease can't do anything. K-Burbs with a little sneak play in the God Max. Jeez. Man, K-Burbs pieced him up. Wow. You don't see too many like PC, like, PC drum shotgun players, but hey, that was a clean one. Thank you, Zimdu, with a T1 for two. Oh, no. Costa on the low ground, hiding inside the shipping container. Walk with the 15 builds has the advantage right now. Oh, Costa, though, with a beautiful mantle play. Costa just going crazy with the drummy right now. Walk doing anything he can to hold on to this. The shot's coming out. Costa is just mantling his way up, bro. He's climbing. Costa is climbing this whole build. He has no build. He doesn't need him. Costa using very... Very good use of the uh, new mechanics in Chapter 3. Mantling goes crazy. Meanwhile, Knack in a 1v1 to the reporter. This is our chosen boomer chat. This is one of our 27-year-old competitors here today. I say one of because apparently there's two. Showing the boomers can still do it, okay? It's getting quieter and quieter here, bro. Hey, mate. All good. Doing fantastic. Thank you. Colazo died. No. No way. Oh, wait. Diego right now as well. We got Diego and Hazaya. No way. Cole died, bro. Sorry, Chad. It's so hard for me to know who's about to fight. It's the one advantage of, the, of doing it my normal way is with Fortnite Tracker telling me. Thank you, Zimdu with the tier one. Thank you, Monster. Thank you, Van. Right now, it's me just going around and looking for who's close and who I think might fight. It's very hard for me to know. All right, how's some of our good teams doing, though? Whale. Whale's going to start making a climb on the leaderboard, bro. Same with Snacky. Some of our favorites. Not looking the greatest, but meanwhile, where's Mr. Diego right now? Diego is chilling again inside Collider still. I did see him. Oh, Brazy. No, never mind. I can't tell if Collider, if people are going to fight at Covert because the verticality. Wait. 
G-Money. White. Okay, we're in the ocean. All right, G-Money and CUNY Divine. Meanwhile, Jerema, bro, take some shots, man. Hit some. Go. Bro, get amongst these. He's not even looking at you. G-Money, turn around, bro. Homie, I know it's an SMG, but it hits from far. Take some shots. Shoot. Well, okay. I don't even. Okay. 64 held, zero shield here for G Money. Only has the floppers. There's the SMG spray. I was waiting for it. G Money in such a rough spot now. This player could easily finish it with a single SMG. Two SMG shots. And he takes him out there. Jeremiah takes down G Money in the ocean battle. QD Divide now next up. Jeremiah needs to get in. He's got one SMG bullet. He's got 12 com uh, auto shots. You know what? I respect Jeremiah, actually. He was conserving a little anime he had. You know what? I do respect him. I was freaking out for a minute there. Flea knows what's up. Reed kills the player that started dropping Greasy this game. So Reed's going to secure that extra bit of loot. And we jump in. Oh, can't get the peace control on the wall. 70 tag, though. We have the flopper. The extra delay on that harpoon. Divine's going to have to be very careful. That was a risky play. If Jeremy had his shotgun out, he loses that trade. The biggest delay at the moment in the game is after a med miss or after a harpoon. Your next shot is always heavily, heavily delayed. Jeremy trying to do the best he can with his harpoon, though. Cutie Divine's in the box, backed up. Oh, 74 tag, Jeremiah. Oh, wow, actually way too close. Cutie Divine goes down, but good little engagement, man. Nice little box fights there. Keeping the entertainment going. Jonathan plays, meanwhile. Trying to replicate Diego plays at the moment. Top of the leaderboard. Jonathan's trying to jump up here and see if he can do something against. So I'm not sure who he's versing right now. It is BTX Phantom. Meanwhile, TSM FTX Re making his way to buy the extra pad. Someone stole his car. No way, Capaholic just stole Reese Whip. I think Re went inside to buy pads and Capaholic yoinked the Lambo. That's the only way I can imagine that going down. Meanwhile, Whale gets a kill. Avon right now going to try and run away from Oxy. I'm seeing Oxy in a lot of fights here today in the Opens and the Finals. Oxy feeling confident here. He's feeling aggressive. He drops down and oh, gets the read on the movement but doesn't get the shot. Avon's going to take him down. Tozy Alpha, meanwhile, holding EU's hopes and dreams alive over at Covert. Snacky getting shot from someone in a tree? I think Twitch Tax was chilling in the tree just then, getting some good shots. There's five games in the final chat. This is game three. Oh, Day. Looks like Day's getting active. Pushing something here, but it's it's it looks like it's a fight. Reed's pushing in as well. Waiter G is now stuck between Day and Reed. Day has two kills already this game. But only 47 builds. Day switched up the loadout. He's gone away from running first a drum shotgun. And Day's back to the good old Day. He's on an SMG striker. If you guys don't follow Fortnite competitive closely, what that means is Day has switched up from what is a kind of more range safe surge strategy to just go on full jump in W key. Day has no range weapon. So either he's relying on the fact that the surge he's already gotten is enough, or if he needs surge, he's just going to jump in and fight for it. He's not going to try and play the range dam damage. Snacky, meanwhile, looking very healthy. His choice of loot. Ace Kenlu, who's in first place after game one, and a bit of an engagement here with Yuz and... Obviously, has, a, has some sights on him through the long grass, and then hits another shot as well. Yuz right now is not too happy about how this one's playing out. Yuz is going to have to turn the fight on this one really quickly. Yuz does have splashes, minis, and bigs, but oh my god, Yuz is not going to be happy right now. Easy 2k with the burst shot from downtown. And just like that, Yuz goes from stacked and healthy to back in the lobby. Thank you, Ecos, the tier 1 for 10. Thanks, bro. Harry, Florence, Swan. Thanks for all the subs, guys. Really appreciate it. Thank you. And the follows, too. Welcome in, guys. 
Uh, the points right now are their um, arena points chat because this is being hosted in customs, not through the compete tab. So the, don't look at the po points in the bottom left. If you want to see the leaderboard, uh, it's in chat right now. Vernie just put it in chat for you. So just check that and that's the, that's the leaderboard. It's why it's hard for me to follow right now because I don't exactly... I know that Diego's winning so I can keep checking in on him, but unfortunately I don't have the leaderboard to go off for like who else to check. Ooh, Day's in a bit of a fight here though with Costa. I think this is. This is Costa. Two good fighters, but I think Day has the advantage. And oh, the tease! Day's going back to doing what Day does best. None of this surge, safe, AR, drum shocker, nah. We're back to the good old striker SMG, and Day picks up his third elim of the game. Unfortunately, though, only 25 builds. So not a lot to show for the elims here as far as the mat goes. Not too stressed, though. He doesn't seem to be farming on his way in. Day seems pretty comfortable with the amount of mats he has. Meanwhile, Quinn, 111. Playing this edge zone really well. Diego plays currently in first, still in zone. With the two med kits, making a very late rotate. He's only got 69 builds himself. He's going to pick up the extra mats off the mythic boss. Nice little present there. Going to hopefully get splashes out of this. He does flops and splashes. We're going back to almost full HP, full shield for Diego now. I'm really enjoying Texas, actually, Zomzi. I really like Dallas, man. It's one of my favorite cities I've ever been to. Diego's still out here, though. Remember, chat. Diego's in first right now. This is a... We're really going for this, huh? Wow, Diego really does not care about zone. We like in Dallas in particular. The city is just beautiful. It's all spread out. Like, the, the trees. Like, it's just a nice city, man. It's really clean. The people have been super lovely. It's just... I just like the feel and spaciousness of it. Oh, Ocus goes down to Quanti, though. Super unfortunate there for Ocus. Zuko, meanwhile, setting up for a bit of a sneak play on a chest demon. Oh, I think it's a 19 tag, though, but I guess it looks like chest demon knew that Zuko was there. He was not running into that one blindly. Sixty-six players alive. All right, Static's making the late rotate. Diego, meanwhile, first place chat. Apparently, this is how you win. You just... Wow, he's really just staying here for as long as he can. This has got to be some bizzle strats that I'm not aware of. Zuko, though, takes down Chest Demon in the end. Oh, statistics, though. It looks like... Stati sta is it Statics? No, Static, sorry. Statics is getting involved now. We've got, we've got two fights going on. Deep in Storm. Zuko's now about to potentially get his second elim while very deep in Storm. Hasn't yet stepped foot in zone on this rotate. Statics is going to go down. Well, sorry, he's going to drop down. Lose the high ground advantage, but Zuko, meanwhile, gets good tags on the medkits coming out from Statics. He's going to get this off, but Diego's still making his way through. All right, well, Diego knows what's up, apparently. He's in first place. I won't question it. Statics is looking not too fantastic here. Meanwhile, Snacky, two pads. Triple weapon loadout, looking much better. Doesn't have the max minis, but he's still got a decent loadout. Narwhal, six splashes, six minis, 116 builds. Still in this one too. Day's got five bandies, four minis, two big splash. He's got 30 builds now. He's got to be careful. He did farm a bit more of the mass, but he's only... He's, he's got decent hard mass though. Well, I mean, at least... Over half of it is hard mats, but... I'm sorry for the minimap going away. Chat is just a bug with uh, replay mode that I can't fix with live spec. Four, four floppers, two kegs, six minis, one pad. Blake looking really good. Dead side, max mats. I don't know if the pads are glitched, but... Seems like a lot of people have pads. Maybe it's real. I think they must be real. Snacky, not quite sure what he wants to do here, I guess. Diego, though, I think Diego's getting keyed right now. Diego is getting keyed first place on the back foot. He's going to have to burn through all the meds he has. He's going to be left with one mini. But 150 health for Diego. 
Sample's going to try and make their way out of this. Sample is in a really good spot. Nice loadout for Sample right now. 101 builds. Zero Elims. Put some good pressure on the Diego. Diego's going to have to try and find some meds. Chat first place walks over with $8,000. It's a 25 grand prize pool total. If you go to the leaderboard link, uh, the prize pool's on there. Yeah, Cole went down early this game, chat. Kalaza went down early this game. Statics is still out in zone. This is our second really rough zone favoring the uh, islands over here today. Snacky, 84 builds, zero elims, and all the builds come out. Snacky, overly over committing here right now, potentially. Might have to get some armored walls going. Snacky now down, only the med miss, not even gonna be able to get his shield up. Gonna get some good damage through those. Snacky sees his opportunity. Now Snacky's taking some damage in return. If you're just tuning in, chat, this is game three of five. So we are over the halfway point now. 61 builds for Snacky. He's on the back foot. Got to be careful. He's got no shields to play here. Only the med miss. Meanwhile, Day gets his fourth Elam of the game, I believe that is. Check in on Epic Whale. Epic Whale's hiding in the bush. Not looking too fantastic. And Day goes down. Day gets a little bit overly aggressive. And Day is going to fall here. I think that was four or five Elims for him, but didn't get any placement this game. 61 players still alive. Meanwhile, Tax and Sale is in a bit of an aggressive engagement. Tax has got the uh, gold shotgun in hand. Gonna be feeling confident with that. Meanwhile, Snacky. Snacky's still in this. He has no med miss, no shields. Our kill is worth two points, Tad. 30 points for a win. Each of them is worth two. <laughs> snacky, bro. <laughs> Only Snacky would be far from zone. 59 health, no meds, in a land finals, dancing. But honestly, right now, 59 health for Snacky doesn't matter. He will still get in. Snacky will play a little bit safe with 59 HP, but you best believe he will still push a fight. Snacky has supreme confidence. Think he misclicked? I don't know. Snacky might be the only player who wouldn't misclick in that scenario, but unfortunately, he doesn't block off his size. The third party comes out, and Ketsui, in the distraction of trying to place the sidewalls, takes him out. Snacky's going to go down, and the pad's going to go to Ketsui, though. Really nice upgrade for him. Where is Diego? Diego's up here on the north side now. One, one mini, two pads. Holding out Dozy here, though. Reed's going to fall to Thoric. A little bit of west-on-west -west action. You hit man with the tier one for five. Thanks, bro. Kizui was a dream hack Anaheim finalist. It makes me think of Kaizui, so I like him. Diego, if you guys don't know, is in first place right now. 65 builds, zero meds, zero shields. Looking to try and find a refresh on a Dozy who I don't believe has any meds either. He doesn't, but Dozy is below search. So Diego's above Surge, but Dozy's below, but only one player has to go down. So that's not really going to help Diego that much. The, the issue is that Diego's not going to gain much by getting this Elim other than some points where Diego needs a refresh. He has two pads. He has 64 builds, so he could just pad land on someone on rotating and get his refresh that way. But if Diego wants to have a good performance this game, he needs to find something. Meanwhile, Wale got everything he needs just over here with the one keg, six minis, med mist. Legendary weaponry, epic weaponry, pad. He is looking so good. Elige, dead center of uh he doesn't have pad. I don't know if I don't know if Diego has pad or not, chat. We got one pad glitch today, but I don't know. Ah uh, yes, live spec client's pretty good. It has a couple glitches that replay doesn't, but it's alright, man. Yeah, maybe it's the pad glitch. Maybe it's showing everyone has one pad. No, because Pitbot doesn't have one. And I don't know anymore, chat. I don't know. Be Just be wary off the pad comms. I'm still going to comment as if it's correct. Otherwise, today is going to be too confusing. But just keep in the back of your mind that they might not actually have a pad. And we think they do. Zuko's on the, Zuko's on the low ground. Nani's up above over here as well. Epic Whale. Nossin, who I think is top three or top five leaderboard right now. Zuki's in this long top up here too. Clash of Rooney. Jaybird's down below. 
Chilly Willy on the edge. Quanti trying to make a rotate straight through the center, but really good LOS right now. He's breaking all line of sight of pretty much the entire lobby, so Quanti makes a really good rotate in. Trilogy getting beamed up on his way in. Wale's in a fantastic spot. Looks like Vert's gonna try and land on Thoric. No, Vert doesn't land on Thoric. Epic goes down. The Zuki's in zone. So Epic Whale's out of this one right now. Zuki's looks like he might be, but never mind. Zuki's actually makes his way in off the short pad. Whale is not going to be happy about that. We're seeing a lot of West on West action here today. Meanwhile, Blake's still going strong. k still in this. I'm going to see if I can find Mr. Diego plays. All eyes on Diego chat. Currently in first place. The young prodigy. Bizzle took him under his wing. Everyone's seen the mechs. You guys know he's crazy. But can he keep the composure in the set lobbies? At LAN. All right, Zone's pulling back. Again, we don't... I'm sure he has at least one pad. Don't, ignore the points, chat. The points are their um, arena points. Ignore that. But going into this game, Diego is in first by, I think, a singular point, so... I think he's C-Mad with the Prime for 10. All right, Diego's going to have to try to hit a pad and land in someone's box or something. He's got to find a refresh. Three hundred above, so we have our surge. Diego's gonna find his refresh. He hears some damage nearby. He definitely has a pad for himself, otherwise he'd be playing this very differently. I don't think his pads are glitched. I think he has two pads. He makes one to front side. A liege might be the target. Never mind. Diego's gonna box up next to him. He still has 170. He doesn't have extra meds, but he might not need to just go full psycho for the refresh. Meanwhile, Pipbot deep in zone. He gets blocked off. It's him versus Blake. Blake gets blocked off again by Pipbot. He's gonna fall. Diego getting some good shots in the Nani. We have 31 players alive. Avon's in this still as well. Narwhal's still going strong. Narwhal trying to make his way in onto Jastin. Vert's on the high ground. Vert, one of the favorites to do well here today. He's been really proving himself the last couple of seasons as a solo player. Diego might be able to get this airdrop, actually. That'd be some guaranteed meds for Diego if he can grab this. There's the guaranteed meds. Takes down Nossen, who I think is top five. Doesn't grab the minis, though. Diego leaves the minis behind by accident. Diego still doesn't pick them up, but I guess he's just that confident he doesn't need them. But if I was him, I would be looking for them right now. Now we're still pushing through. He's on the ulti low ground. Vert gets an Elim onto Thoric. No, yeah, no, onto Rituals. Wale takes down Thoric. Diego's going to hit his second pad. Beautiful frontside spot for Diego. Meds are for the weak. Honestly, I feel like Diego has that mentality. Why do I need meds when they're Siphon? Wale's up above. Narwhal down here on the low ground. Trying to put some builds between him and whoever this opponent is. I apologize for the minimap going away. Chat, it's just a live spec bug. I can't fix it. Diego's in this one as well. 21 players alive. Narwhal has one flop, three splashes. Vert's going to keep pushing himself through this one. Drops down the ulti low with that drum shotgun, but no builds left. Zuko next to him. Vert drops down, but he only just gets below this. But he runs down into Nani out of the frying pan and into the fire. Unfortunately, Diego, meanwhile, 30 health, 100 shield. Down to 23 builds, no pads, still no meds. But honestly, Diego hasn't needed them. The only damage he's taken on this rotate is from Storm. Still has 100 shield. Narwhal takes down Nani. Elise takes down Zuko. Diego back against this Storm. Trying to find his way through this one. 14 alive. No, and he goes in. And unfortunately, Fluga's waiting for him. He's going to take down first place. Narwhal on the low ground with one to Elim. We have Jaston going down. Zuki's with one Elim. Two flops. Has the meds. Trying to get himself back in this one. Hanlu, who is first place after game one right now, potentially having a huge game three. And I'm not going to lie, I have hardly heard about this player. So Dreamhack already making names. Quanti down below. Kanlu getting some big shots through. And I think someone takes that. I think it was Narwhal. Kanlu getting jumped in on. Puts up the armored wall. Going to play for the safe refresh here. Pop his med miss. Pop his minis. He's got plenty of white heals. Doesn't have to be impatient. Meanwhile, we have easy 2k jumps on Iron Star and goes down. And then we have Fluga taking down Iron Star. And then Wale's taking shots in. Narwhal takes down Fluga, man. Everything's going crazy in the low ground. Six players. Alige, Narwhal, Wale, Jalen's jam. Zuki's going to try and find his way into this one again. 
Every time I switch off someone, they fight, man. Narwhal getting pinned on the low ground. 75 builds for Narwhal. I think, honestly, has the best advantage in this game right now. Elise is going to go down into Jalen's jam. Narwhal versus Zuki's versus Wale versus Jalen's jam. Jalen puts down the armored wall. Still has one left as well. Meanwhile, Wale is up on the high grounds. Trying to take his shots down. Narwhal takes down Jalen's jam. I swear, every time I switch off someone, they fight. It's got to be Narwhal versus Zuki's here. Narwhal and Zuki's have to fight on the low ground. Meanwhile, Wale is going to keep putting down the pressure with 80 builds. It's got to be It's got to be a fight between... Oh, unless Zuki's goes up. Zuki's might go up. Wale's got a really good loadout, and so does Narwhal. We've got two great loadouts. Meanwhile, unfortunately, Zuki's is sandwiched between them with not a lot going for him. So Zuki's has to drop down. Narwhal's going to be the target. Can he find his way in, though? He finds an extra couple builds. Narwhal's breaking his way through. Zuki still keeps his eye on high ground. He's not really looking to make the play on low ground, but he only has one build, so he has to get in soon. And he's going to keep pushing his way through. This is a very NA West play style. Meanwhile, Narwhal trying to be a little bit more aggressive. Gets the piece ahead of him. Tries to drop him in, but he doesn't walk onto it. Zooks around the outside. Takes shots on the Narwhal. Narwhal tries to return fire, but Zuki's has taken no damage right now. Narwhal with beautiful armored wall use. Going to block off that aggression. But Zuki's going to take control of front side. And Narwhal on the right-hand peak. Playing patiently right now with the double med mist and the splashes. Maybe he wants Wale and Azuki's to fight. Potentially, Narwhal is going for the play to let them both weaken each other and then come in for the cleanup. Zuki's Wale drops down. Zuki takes damage. Narwhal cleans up from behind. Narwhal may have just big brain this endgame. 22 builds. He still has a whole med mist and splashes. I question Narwhal being patient there, but I think this may have been the play. Zone finished. That's it. He wins. If he runs, he wins. 30 HP. The med mist in hand. Wale's chasing. 29. 19 gets the double tag. One more tick. And Wale is going to go down. Narwhal with the precise, patient gameplay closes out game three. I, when he had that right hand peak, I was thinking just take the shot. But Narwhal, I got to respect it, man. Is this your first time ever on live spec? It is, Felix. My first time ever on live spec, bro. <laughs> You've got a montage cookie? We'll definitely check it out tomorrow, Cookie. We'll definitely check it out. We might tomorrow chat for a bit of a throwback since you guys seem to like it. We're not doing a subathon tomorrow, but I might for at least like an hour or a bit do a, a little cheeky five subs equals watch your montage, which you guys seem to love. Get a chance to find some underrated montages. Because last few times we've done that, the montages are like good. We found some good montages doing that. Because I think if people are willing to give five subs, a lot of them know, like, are, are, are where their, their montage is good. Like they send their best. Snacky, don't miss those. Diego, though, in a fight. Oh, no, my first IO. Oh, Diego, unfortunately. He's got Huntmaster Saber on his back. Got to be careful. What do you think overall is better? Live spec or replay? They have be they have advantages. The not stuttering is really nice. Having no stutters in important fights has been lovely, but no, Kalazo dies again. All right, next game, watching Kalazo on spawn because he's getting amongst it right now. He's getting active. See, he's trying to find Wale. Knack takes down, report it. No. Yeah, send it to me again tomorrow, Cookie. I got you, bro. Oh, I'm sorry to hear it, Pinocchio. It's always such a rough feeling, man. Oh, did they ham? Oh, really? Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, so it's just me now. That's why there's less observers now, because now it's just me. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. All right. Let's get, here we go. There you go. So is it, is it Luke? You guys are telling me it's not Lucko, it's Luke. Tim versus Ben K, though. Bit of a standoff. Ooh, we got Dozy might get in a fight here. I am Pinocchio. I just had that much going on, bro. Just absolutely crazy with everything. But yes, definitely still want to reach out to you, dude. Yeah, yeah, I've, I spent a lot of time with Kalazo today, man. And we went to dinner last night, too. Cole is the exact person you'd expect him to be in person that he is online. He's an absolute legend. What's the score on the Blake challenge? They're both not fighting, man. All right, Mopey. Gonna try and chase, try and chase down 
to main. Oh, nice cone. Can't get any of the other piece control, though. Gets another nice cone around the corner. Diego goes down. Wait, Diego goes down to Oxy. No. We just lost second or third place. Diego, very, very upsetting there. Honestly, I would not have expected to see that. Diego goes down to Oxy, a player that I've been seeing in the quals today play very aggressively, but... Oxy cleaning up Diego. Diego in second place falls. I apologize, Chad. I was following him closely last game, but... Goes down. Snacky now, trying to get some revenge. All right, so we've got to keep an eye on Ace Canlu, Chad. Our first place right now. Out of sleepy sounds. Remember, Chad, this player has zero earned. We are at land. So we are about to have potentially someone have the huge pop-off story and no one can accuse them of cheating. And then who's in third right now, Chad? Sorry, my setup's really weird here where I can't have the... I, I don't have enough room to have the leaderboard up co constantly. Actually, no, I do have enough room to get it up. Wait, I can do this. Wait, let me grab this. Sorry, chat. I just, this is going to be so much better for me watching. All right, let me do that. And then that. All right, cool. Chilling. Let's go, baby. Back to Fortnite. All right, we're nice. All right, easy. So it's Narwhal in third and then Zooks in fourth. Awesome. Okay, I'm following. I'm following. This also shows me their actual... Does that show me their in-game name or is... Oh, no, that's going to be their friggin' Unite name. So it's not going to be right. Oh, no, no, it is right. All right, so we've got... Currently, we've got Zookies in third. I mean, fourth, sorry. We've got Narwhal in third. Ooh, Narwhal gets the taxi. And then we have CEO Quanti in fifth at the Fortress. Oh, Okus getting a bit of... Oh, Okus trying to hit the rotates here. Quanti gets a nice little bit of surge on him. Where's Day? Day's down. Oh, Tankle though. Blake and Tankle been going at it all. Oh, no, different player. Never mind. Wait, it's not Tankle. Blake's been versing. Meanwhile, Reed takes down Capaholic. Blake's got to be careful right now. Oh, Blake with a beautiful low ground shot. Meanwhile, Snacky takes down Tax. And Blake takes down Tankle. Beautiful fight. But wait. Clash of Rudy's coming, chat. Clash of Rudy's rolling up. Hold up. This is this is the storyline, chat. If you guys missed it, Clash of Rudy was talking mad smack on Blake on Arab Stream. They've yet to fight. And I'm seeing Blake run. All I'm saying... Clash Rooney shows up and Blake runs. I'm not, that's all I'm saying. Jaybird and Solution now. Oh, nice cookie. Good stuff, bro. Ooh, 61 shot from Jaybird. <laughs> Blake scurred. He scurred. Oh, Jay. Oh, I thought we are going to see someone die to fall damage then. I don't know if Jaybird's too much further behind, though. Oh, he has the edits on the cones. He's not taking them, though, I don't think. Solution takes down Jaybird. Bro, the irony of if Jaybird died to fall damage would have been so funny if someone named after her. A bird. Oh, solution. OG's out here in the islands. Nice one. I, I could have made it a joke, but I was too lazy. My brain's not working. I'm sorry. It's like when you say a joke and it's just... It's, it's not, yeah. I'll do better, chat. I'll do better. Snacky, 95 builds. Two E-limbs. Doesn't have too many meds. Is Day dead? No, but... Ooh, Day's fighting Squish, though. Oh, Day's getting aggressive. SMG AR, no shotgun. Day's going to have to reload here. This is bad. He does the A, knows he needs to get out because he doesn't have the shotgun. Seeing Day without a shotgun, I don't like it. I don't like seeing Day without a shotgun. He's too good with them. The striker and Day just, I don't know. I don't know if he didn't find him on a Joneses, but 29 builds. Day's committed heavily to this engagement now and he needs to close it out. But the third parties are all around. Statics is moving away though, so Day's got a bit more of a straight 1v1 against Squish. The no the no shotgun is what scares me most. If he jumps in, he's got to close it out quick. Meanwhile, Squish has the shotgun, but no SMG. So if he doesn't hit a maxi, he's got really not a lot to follow up with.
chat. Exclamation mark LB if you guys want to check the leaderboard. It's 30 points for a win. Each Elim is worth two. The in-game points are not correct. That is the player's arena points, so ignore that. Phantom. Phantom. Taking a lot of shots in the back. Wait, really, Maris? The collider's going off every 16 minutes at the moment. Ooh, we're getting closer to our event. Let's go. Yo, Taysom, with the team for seven, bro. You're still awake? Thank you, Taysom. Appreciate it, man. Can't wait to be casting you in this in Sweden, man. We've got, what, less than two weeks. Bro, the EU guys are blessed, man. This has been, like, the test. This has been, like, the, the test server experience. And then EU's going to get the flawless, event, uh, flawless event now. They're going to know exactly what they need to do. I think it's going to be in compete tab, Taysen. I've heard rumors it's going to be in the compete tab. It better be in the compete tab for 200k. Retakes down. No, retakes down, Luke. No. The Luke fans are sad, but Reed is looking fantastic. Jeez, four elims, five splashes, four flops, three big pots. I've got to keep an eye on Reed here. Reed looks like he's keen today. Or well, this game, anyway. So EU is also across multiple days. So it just I just assume it's going to be in the compete tab like last time they did multiple days at Anaheim. It looks like, honestly, I, I hope that it's the exact same format as Anaheim. Two heats, top 200 from both heats go through. If you don't call heat one, you can play heat two. And then in that semis of 400, top 100, no. Yeah, and then of that semis of 400, 100 go through. So much better. Reed. Oh, someone shot Reed, and Reed's not happy about it, bro. Reed is chasing it. He's there. This kid's pushing at the key, the trees. He's got to be careful. Reed could use those, but Reed doesn't need to use those, bro. Reed is in. Oh, damn, bro. And he's wearing the Reed skin. No, it's so cool. My heart. I almost thought Reed was going to get... Oh, okay. There's too much happening. Reed's key in the kid who's a Reed rider. Tries to pickaxe him. Almost dies. Like, oh, my... Bro. Oh, it's too late, man. It is too late in the day for this. My heart just sunk. Rose sunk again. Beautiful phase in by Reed, but he almost gets punished for the aggression there. All right, five Elims for Reed now, 141 builds. He really is just feeling it right now. Reed's proven that he can do it on land as well. He's already proved it once today in the opens. And now Reed's looking to do so here. Remember, Reed's on equal ping with all these players right now, something we don't often see from Reed. Bro, can you guys hear that bassy music? Let's go. Ooh, Reed finds a player that's putting up a bit more of a fight than usual. Is it Nerf Face? It is Nerf Face right now. Reed gets in. Reed gets the wall. Reed gets it again. Reed is putting down some serious damage right now, bro. Reed is having none of this, dude. Reed on equal ping is love and life. Doesn't get the Elim. Ocus does, but Reed gets the loot. So Reed is now topped back up again. He's got 144 builds, six flash, four flops, gold shotgun, blue SMG. Reed is feeling it right now. Currently, guys, if you just tune in, face first place is Ace Candlu, a player who has literally never earned a dollar in Fortnite. So absolute underrated demon showing up big on land. We then have Diego in second, who died this game, unfortunately. And oh, Reed gets his sixth kill of the game. Reed is seriously going crazy right now. We have Narwhal in third, Zuki's in fourth, and Quanti in fifth right now. Bro, Reed is going for this. Bro, I can... Whoever's playing this bass in the venue right now, I can feel it in my chest. This is crazy. I'll, I will check. I will check, check on first place in a second. I'll check on him now because Reed's going crazy. But Ken Lu is currently three flops, five minis, green SMG, green pump, chilling on the edge over here. Meanwhile, Snacky, two Elims so far, looking good as well. See if I can do a check on all the top guys. So like I said, Diego's down. Let's check on Narwhal. Narwhal over here on the edge of Lumberyard. Pretty dead side of zone right now. 136 builds. OG's nearby. And then we got Zuki's as well. 
Oh, Zuki's went down, chat. So Zuki's is down. Let's see if Quanti's up. And Quanti's up. So in our top five, we've lost Zuki's and Diego. Meanwhile, Reet looks like he's still king. Thank you, Charles. Appreciate the sub, bro. You're up with Charles. Appreciate you being here, though, man. Oh, Reed, 20 white tag. This player's looking pretty weak. Reed's trying to get his way in right now. Reed with the high walls. The only high wall he doesn't get, unfortunately, is the one that's way in that box, though. Gets the code. Reed is trying real hard to push his way in here. This player is being hunted. He's running from Reed. The lobby focus is coming out. This kid is just not having any of it. But Reed, meanwhile, getting a lot of shots going through a lot of builds right now. Ocus is taking shots in on Reed at close range. It's Sales who's on the back foot. Reed's going to pop his meds and probably keep going with the onslaught. I don't think the fight's over. I think there's just a breather for Reed right now. Did the kid just dance? Did you just dance? Homie, I, mean, I don't think that's a good idea. Forty-nine builds, six elims trying to make it seven. Bro, something about Reed and Dreamhack just man, it goes hand in hand. Reed just shows up for Dreamhacks. I don't know what it is, but seven elims for Reed, seventy-two builds, fifty-six players, and Reed is looking really good right now. He's trying to find his way back up. He might be able to get back up to the old mats. I think he's going back up to the old mats on the kill that Ocus got earlier. I think he's trying to find it. Yeah, he's looking for the loot right now. He's trying to find the extra mats he had. There it is. He found it. It's only an extra bit of wood, though, unfortunately. Oh, and splashes, though. We topped up, so we got four splashes again. And we're keying still. There's no way. And the guy enters the wall. No, this player enters the wall. He doesn't realize it's Reed, but never mind. Reed gets taken down. Rituals with the drummy is just a bit too strong. Reed gets beaten out with gold drummy against Rituals. He survives on 34 HP. One more shot and Reed would have had it. Unfortunate way for it to go down again. Hopefully... I will not be sad if today is the last time I hear that gun fired, but we'll see. Meanwhile, Ace Canlu in first. Day's still keying as well. So Ace Canlu went into this game with a two-point lead over Diego, who went down, and only a three-point lead over Narwhal. We have a very close leaderboard on our hands right now. Narwhal a little bit further down. Ooh. Yeah, Narwhal's a bit further down the leaderboard here. So Narwhal's our second highest point player alive right now. Slowly catching up to Kanlu, or at least keeping on pace with Kanlu. And Zuki's has already gone down, so we also have Quanti. Quanti's in here in fifth place right now. Three floppers, six minis, two bigs. He's also got the pad. Nani's still going strong. Vert's in here at least. We've got some big players still. But eyes on Kanlu to close this one out. Again, if you tuned in, Kanlu has zero dollars earned previously. Elevate trying to make the rotate. Elige down here as well. Nexi, Unreliana, Snacky on the edge. Expecting a big couple games from Snacky to bring it back. Was looking very dominant in qualifiers. Meanwhile, Day, looking like he's on a similar situation to Reed. Just wanting to key everyone. 95 builds, three elims. Day is just eating through this guy's mats right now. Day's got 320 ammo. He's like, bro, you don't want to waste your builds for my ammo. This play is down to 40 builds. And Day is just not letting go. All right, Day is going to finally leave this kid alone in his box. It is not Booga. It is not Booga that Day is spraying right now. Kanlu first place getting keyed right now against Elevate, bro. We got old versus new. We have a brand new player, zero dollars earned, trying to earn his first money on land. Meanwhile, going up against an absolute veteran in Elevate, a player a lot of you maybe have forgotten about. But I shouldn't have to explain who Elevate is. One of the OG GOATs showed up on land and qualified for finals. But Kenlu, the new generation, pushing him back and surviving, holding on for a little bit longer. The only problem is he's down to 43 builds.
Can Lu still up here? Let's see if he gets zoned. That's actually Elevate chat. That is Elevate. That is that is Season Elevate World Cup 100 Thieves Elevate. So Can Lu's down beneath Bacon and Blake right now. Next to RN Star above OG. Let's see if they get zoned. Meanwhile, where's the rest of our other players? So where's Narwhal? Where's Narwhal? Where's Quanti? I don't see. I see Whale over here. Epic Whale's over here with Squish. Day's here as well. Genetics here too. I apologize. Oh, Wale is really far away on zone. Narwhal's over here on the edge. And I'm sure Quanti was in there, but I'm blind. Can Lu doesn't get zoned, but he gets a decent zone. That's a pretty decent zone. Like, almost no one has to rotate for the... Well, sorry, he has to not rotate that far, but everyone has to rotate really far. Let's see if I can find Quanti real... Oh, Quanti went down! Quanti went down. So, in our top five going into this game, we only have Ace, Kanlu, and Narwhal. The only two players alive in top five. This is the second last game. So, if Kanlu can have a big performance here, it's going to set him up real pretty going into game five. But this is a pretty decent format with Elims. It's two points per Elim, 30 per, win, 30 per win. So a five Elim win here. Could see a team jumping up the leaderboard quite high as well. Now, nah, well, as I say, that gets an Elim. Elevate still looking weak down there. Can has got eyes on everyone. He's playing the flops, man, for, for an unexperienced comp player. He's playing his flops here really cool. I think he popped that one a little bit early, but right now, Can Lu just stalling this, waiting for the pads, but no pads are coming out. Can Lu now stuck in a really rough spot. He played his floppers, waiting for the pads, and no one put down the pads, so now he's in the back foot, and Blake jumps in. Big shot from Can Lu. I talk about the new guard versus the old guard. Blake, one of the OGs, but Can Lu goes down to Vert. First place is down and out, so all eyes on Narwhal right now. Narwhal is our highest point player alive. The only player in this game going into it who's in top five still alive. Narwhal can make a big splash here to close out these last two games. Thirty-six players alive, 135 builds, one Elim and the pad. Narwhal's looking really good. Meanwhile, Wale's still here as well. RN Star, K Burbs. We've got a lot of big players still in this one. But Narwhal's got everything he needs to close this out. Second last game of the night, chat. It's been a long day of Fortnite. A lot of these guys have been here for 12 plus hours now. Let's see who can handle the pressure in the last two. Oh, Narwhal takes some damage here, going for the extra loot. Beautiful use of the armored wall, but now his back's in the zone. Only gets one mini off. He's got the med key. He's got to get in. 88 above, still has the pad, and no, he goes to put down. Oh, no, Narwhal. Okay, good recovery. Don't think we wanted that to be a short pad. Bit scuffed, but Narwhal, unfortunately, pressure getting to a little bit here. Puts down the armored wall, puts down the pad on the armored wall, but it messes up the short pad. Still rotating his way through, though. It's not, it's not, a, it's, it's not an unrecoverable mistake. Narwhal's just got to breathe, keep his cool, keep playing his tournament. Meanwhile, Wale's still trying to make us rotate through here as well. We've got a rough zone. We've got a full mountain zone right now. And Narwhal takes some big shots. Narwhal's still pushing his way through. Epic Well takes down Quinn. Narwhal's just trying to do everything he can to cling to the side of this mountain and hold on to this lead here. He's just above RN Star. We've got Nossen nearby too. Remember, Nossen was in sixth place. So Nossen right now, our second highest point player alive, right next to Narwhal. Meanwhile, up above, we have Epic Well. TSM, FTX, Epic 6X. Long ass name, but Epic Whale is, in, is on top right now. Takes down Thoric. Four Elims. Epic Whale going into this game, I think it was like 15 or 20th. So he was up there in contestion with one more game to go. And Narwhal goes down. k -Burbs takes down Narwhal. So highest point players are out of this one. And I believe all eyes on Nossen if he's still up here. Nossen is still up. Going into this game on seventh place, 52 points. He was 17 points behind first. Nossen's got to make his way up this ridiculous mountain, though. This zone is just going up, down, around, everywhere with this mountain. And you've got to feel for the players right now who don't have mats, who don't have pads, like Nossen. Zero builds. He drops now. 42 tag. The mantle coming out. I think that was K-Burbs who just slipped for three, free of that one. Nossen going to keep, keep trying to find his way up here. Nani behind him, and Nossen's going to go down. Fluger's in this. Nani still pushing his way up. 13 builds. Playing behind the wall. Yuz still going on the low ground. Ali's in this, too. Vert's got one build, three Elims. 
Meanwhile, Rituals, the player who put an end to Reed's legendary run so far. Bludge takes down Nate. I believe it might still be Epic Whale on the high ground. I'll check in a second, but Bludge goes in. Bludge goes down. Elise is still in this one as well. Elise takes down Bludge after that. 21 builds. And let's see, is it still... Is it going to... No, it's not. Whale's down and out. Never mind. Sorry, Whale's down. Day is going for the high ground. Six builds. 23... Sorry, 23 builds. Six elims. Showing my tiredness today, Jack. Three splashes, two minis. Can Day close it out? Just outside top five. That's elim number seven for Day. 49 builds. There's four players left. Day has the high ground. He should be able to close this out. But Vert's still here. Ritual's still here. Ritual takes a big tag. 34 HP. Dropping down deeper and deeper. Meanwhile, Vert. We got Day versus Rituals. Rituals has zero builds on the mountain. He has to play this one well. He's going to keep dropping down, but Vert's on his layer. Shots coming from above. Day is dropping down. Day's on 23 health. Day gets hit hard. He's getting keyed from both directions. Beautiful use of the armored walls. Day can play this out. Day in the 1v1. Ritual somehow clutches up second. Day drops down 17 builds. He has no meds left for zone. He's only got the two minis. Can he get them off? Or is Rituals going to somehow pull this off? And Day with the beautiful low ground shot. I believe an A. Eight Elim win. It is eight. It's not going to rack up Day somehow hitting the slot shot for eight Elim win. I don't know where Day was in the leaderboard, but that is a nice game. Eight people not in. People might be like too tired. They might be going home, bro. They might not have a chance at money. Like it is what it is, man. It is what it is. All right. Wish I was there. I know TK, I heard, man. That sucks, bro. That really does suck. All right, Cole's been having a couple fights on Spawn that haven't been going his way, so let's see it. Watch Cole off Spawn, because Cole's been fighting on Spawn and I've been missing it. What happened to TK? Um, His flight got cancelled, so he couldn't come. TK would have popped off, too. Why would they let them leave? I don't think you understand how lands work, bro. Like, lands where you bring your own PC, like... They've brought their own setups, man. They can't, like, keep them here. Like, what? They're not, like, forced to play. For an Apex Pro? Wait, he's actually... Wait. Did all the kids who stopped playing drop Shifty? Cole's unconned in all of Shifty now. Well, to be fair... That's kind of the end... God damn it. Well... I was... Wait, is Diego to die? Bro, Snacky just took down Diego. And Huntmaster Saber just took down Oxy. Diego is down. That's seventh place. Diego's gone from first to seventh to now probably outside top ten in the last two games. That is so unfortunate. Damn. Look what you're doing. No, that wasn't cursed. Okay, this one I saw they were fighting. But Cole, yeah, Colazo, I kind of cursed him. Not going to lie. Yeah, that, that one's fair. The Colazo one's fair. The, the Diego one's not on me. I knew he was fighting. That's why I watched him. But Colazo, yeah, that was unfortunate. You sold Cole's chance at winning. Cole wasn't winning. The fact that Cole made finals, bro. He's an Apex content creating slash pro. And he's playing on a controller he's never played on before. The fact that Cole made finals is ridiculous. Cole himself would have told you there's no way he's winning. Oh, we're getting aggressive, though. Looks like everyone's starting to fight a bit more now, I think. Oh, people starting to get a bit more aggressive with it. All right, let's check in on our top guys. Where's, where's Rituals? Wait, what's Rituals? Wait. Oh, it's Z-Ritual. That'll make it easy to find him. That's good. All right, Z-Ritual. Out of the... Uh, his ways. He's going to east side of Bugle, bro. Rituals, I mean, he's pretty stacked, actually. Rituals drops not going too bad. Then we're going to go all the way back to the top for Vert, who's in second. Who's a Bugle right now, and I want to keep an eye on him because this person might make a play on... on ooh, could make a play on Vert here. Let's see. So we got two of our players up here who are doing really well. Then we got Narwhal, who's down near Jones's. So we got all we got our top three players all on the east side here. And then Ace Kanlu, our zero earned demon, also on the east side. More north though. Is Yaz in the fire? Ooh, Yaz playing a bit aggressive. Reed takes down Sails. Looks like Reed wants to go a bit aggressive here. Wait, what did Bizzle say? 
Diego. F oh, wait, really? Unlucky. That sucks, dude. Is this last game? Last game, chat. Fifth and final game. Dreamhack winner will be crowned after this. Cozy Alpha. EU's got EU's got card. Thank you, Judders, with the prime. All right, so right now, Vert gets a kill too. So Vert ends up killing the player at Bugle. Nice. So Vert in second, picking up an extra two points. That's going to close the gap between first and second down to, what is that? Seven points. No, eight points now, the difference. No, seven. Yeah. Eight points. Eight points the difference now between first and second. Reap, meanwhile, has already got two e lives. You at the event? I am, bro. I'm at the event right now. Clash Rooney's gonna go down. Snacky takes down Phantom. Keep my eyes over here though. Rituals right now, chat. Rituals in first, Vert's in second. Ken lose in fourth. And Narwhal's in third. Narwhal's down here somewhere. Narwhal in third. So I'm keeping my eyes on all of them right now. Oh, Reed is getting into a fight though. Reed's still going aggressive. Don't think Reed can win the tourney here. Gonna have to drop like a 30 bomb, but. He's trying to jump in on Genetic. He's got the Drummy again, so Reed really choosing to run the Drummy in these key games. It is Reed. If someone's gonna drop a 20 30 bomb in their last game to somehow win the tournament, it will be Reed. Oh, Reed phases the stamp beautifully. Puts himself in such a nice spot, man. Reed on equal ping is something different. It's not even like super fancy. It's just the extra movement and being able to take more walls. He's just playing so well. Ritual's chilling. First place is vibing right now. Same with Vert. Vert's also chilling. Snacky takes down Ocus. So Snacky right now. Oh, could we see a Snacky Reed fight? Oh, Snacky Reed fight. Oh, boo. Boo, Snacky's running. Boo. Oh, Snacky though. Might be getting to fight here. He's grabbing some extra loot. So he's running towards the loot by the looks of it. But this is going to probably attract Snacky. And, I mean, attract Reed. Snacky is the big shot. Epic Whale goes down. Whale goes down to Elevate. No. Nah, Whale just died to Elevate. Oh my god. Elevate's making his return to competitive Fortnite. Elevate just beat the sixth time. I would have loved to have watched that. I had no idea that fight was happening. Elevate's back, baby. Oh, Reed's king this. I said it. I said if Snacky fights here, it'll probably attract Reed. We have TSM versus TSM versus Zuko right now. We have Reed and Snacky trying to jump in this fight. Meanwhile, Zuko is just kind of here like, bro, please get me out. Zuko did not want any part of this. He's like, bro, just get me the way away from these kids. Snacky on the back foot. Bro, we're watching Reed versus Snacky on equal ping. Snacky's got the loadout. Reed's got the health advantage, though. I think it's Drummy versus Striker, which is a bit scary for Reed. If Snacky hits a big shot, that will put Reed away. No, Reed's gone to the Striker now, but Snacky does have the loot advantage. Reed only has nine builds, so I think Reed's going to get out of this one. Reed is going to dip and disengage. Meanwhile, Snacky is going to continue the fight on Zuko. Snacky's going up. He's got 112 builds right now, bro. Snacky's getting PC with it. Next, he gets an Elim. So does Howl and Ooh, Snacky takes a big shot, bro. Zuko's not messing around. Meanwhile, Reed. Reed is still lurking in this one, bro. Reed's still lurking. If Zuko, if Zuko leaves himself exposed right now, he hears that he heard Reed build. Reed built the box, and that's what Zuko heard. Reed gets a shot, but Reed gets shot back. Reed has two flops, four builds. Reed is not in a power position right now. Snacky now has the best advantage. This is just going tip for tap, back and forward between Snacky, Reed, and Zuko. One gains the advantage, and then the other takes it. Reed versus Snacky. Reed missed the shot. Snacky hits the shot. 110, but Reed, Snacky goes down to Reed. Reed hits the shot. We have the 1v1 on equal ping. Reed versus Snacky. Meanwhile, I think it maybe cost Reed. It did. Reed and Snacky both go down as a result, and Zuko walks away the victor. On top of two of the best players, best fighters, not just on West, but in the world. 
Zuko just buys his time and plays cleanup crew. Walks away with it. All right, meanwhile, first place. Still looking good. First place still chilling, still up there. Where's Vert? Am I blind? Where did Vert rotate to? I think I'm blind. Let's check where Vert is. Vert rotated more towards Shifty. So right now you've got... Oh, yeah, there's Vert. Sorry, I am blind. So you've got Vert in second. You've got Rituals in first. And then you've got Narwhal, wherever Narwhal is, in third. Oh, what's this right now, though? Costa in a bit of a fight. This is the last game, Chad. It's the final game of DreamHack Dallas. We are crowning the winner after this. Costa's only got four builds left now in a fight with Knack here. Knack's got the health advantage. Opens up, hits the shot through. Costa's still playing aggressive, though. Costa not giving this one up. Really taking their time on this fight. I'm just making sure the first place guys aren't in fights. Nah, first and second are all chilling. I mean, yeah, just do a prediction on uh, just do a prediction on rituals then. Maris, does rituals win the tourney? So chat, rituals went into this game on a 10-point lead over Vert and went in on an 11-point lead over Narwhal. So Narwhal and Vert are the two closest to overtaking rituals right now. And oh, he's cycling the big pots. Let's go. Extra loot in the back pocket. Have I heard of Rituals? I know of Rituals. Yeah, I've heard a bit of Rituals. Not a lot. He's definitely very underrated, but I have not heard about him a lot. Did Lita go down? No. First place is still in this, which is Rituals. Day fight? I mean... Ooh, Day's keen. Yeah, Day do be keen right now. Day after his, what was it, eight Elim win last game, jumping him from 55th into 11th. So I don't know about winning this tourney, but Day is definitely trying to make a comeback here on the tail end of the tourney, and that's a one Elim on the statics. First Elim of the game, four splash. Gonna get extra big pots as well. Looking really good. So it looks like Day's making a big comeback here at the very end. What's the rumbling sound? No, that's not Collider. That's in person here. They're having what sounds like a giant rave. It is just full bass. Like, you can't even hear the music. All I hear is bass. This last game is fifth and final game, chat. It's over after this. Rachel's got to make sure one of these players, like Day, doesn't push him. Could throw everything. I'm sorry about the, the uh, minimap disappearing. It's just a bug with uh, Spec Client. I can't get it to come back. It will come back, just I can't force it to. So we've got 53 players alive. Bro doesn't have a shotgun. Doesn't need a shotgun, bro. Oh, he's watching Nexi get aggressive, though. Currently watching Nexi key easy 2k. That could be an Elim for Rituals. Rituals taking shots in on it right now. This could be a free two points for first. Nexi trying to make his way in. Nexi making his way in. Nexi gets in. 21 wide. This player's going for the trade, but no, he can't get it. He can't hit the shot. Easy 2k is going to back up again. Oh, easy 2k tries to play the uh, stair peak. Tries to phase the stair, but it's not going to work. Nexi's going to put him down. Nexi picks up his third Elim of the game. Nexi three with the three. And Rituals pulls the edge of third zone. So he doesn't have a good chance at fourth. And it looks like he's going to start making his way a little bit more central. He's going to farm up extra brick along his way. Rituals playing this really, really well right now. So Kriya, we're showing the arena points. So chat, right now, going into this game, Rituals had 85 points. I'll do a full leaderboard recap for the top people. Rituals had 85 points. Vert had 75. 
and Narwhal had 74. Wherever Narwhal is here. So it's arena points in game. So ignore that. Right now it's between Rituals, Vert, and Narwhal. Someone else could come up. It's, th it's 30 points for a win, two points per Elim. So people like Day who are keen going crazy could jump up, but all eyes on Rituals. Rituals a pro. He's, uh, yeah, he's not very well known, but I've definitely heard of him and watched him. Like he's made finals and stuff before. Squish takes down Quinn. Rituals chilling center of fourth right now. He's got good. He's got. I mean, sorry, chill, chilling center of third. He's got good fourth percent potential here. Let's see if he gets lucky. No, Canlu's still going. Canlu's in fourth. He's still alive as well. If you guys just tuned in. Canlu right now has zero dollars earned. He was in first place until last game. Now he's in fourth place. So Canlu could... He's, he was 20 points behind. No, he was 16 points behind going into this game though. So we'll see. I hope he holds on to it, man. I hope he can pull off something, but we'll see. How you holding up? I am very tired and my voice is very sore, but this has been an awesome experience. So I'm looking to close it out strong. Last game. I'm excited. Did Day die? I think Day's still going. Now Day's still going. Day's still got the one Elim. How, what's Rituals earnings, chat? How much does Rituals have earned? This is game five. Last game, chat. He has 2,600 earned. Damn, so we might go from 2.6K 2, 2 to 10.6K. Nice little jump up. Get almost four times his earnings in a single tournament. Not bad, not bad. Ooh, little ooh. One more. No. Mace takes down Chili Willy and Rituals. Doesn't get the two points, but that's fine. Thanks, Kabang. I've been to on for 33 months, bro. Thanks, dude. Nexi goes down. Nexi was having a good run, though, bro. Nexi dropped quite a few kills this game, bro. He was fragging. Right now, we had Nexi on... We had Reed on four. Nexi was on three. Snacky was on three. Kedzui was up there as well. Vert's still going right now. Vert, Vert's in second. And Nawal's in third. They're looking pretty good. 131 builds. They're all looking good, honestly. We have a good closeout here for this tourney. Most of these guys are looking pretty, pretty good. They all have the, le the loadout to do it. No excuses. Nice. What's up, Swaffy? Oh, Day might be getting aggressive on this one. OG and Yuz fighting each other. Day's jumping in. OG's trying to get away from Day. Day can't find his way in. He's gonna looks like he's gonna chill out a little bit here. Meanwhile, Zuki's around the corner. Currently in 10th place overall, so Zuki's got a top 10 on the on the board. Day's in 11th. So one place behind Zuki. So he's definitely somebody he wants to take out here if he can. Bro, Ritual's doing so good to just stay away from all of this. Ritual's is just not getting focused at all. This is great. So top 25 are earning money today, Chad. First place gets 8k, it's 25k total. Rituals has beautiful half-half potential right now. Rituals has really good half-half potential. 47 players. He could pull fifth zone here. So could Ace Canlu again, our underrated demon. Zero earned until this land event. Narwhal's still going. You've obviously heard of Narwhal. And then where's Vert? Only player I can't see right now. There he is, there's Vert. Bro, it's got me so excited, man. Last game. We've got some big names, got some underrated names. Who's going to hold on? Let's see where half goes. 20 seconds. This could decide the entire tourney right now. Ritual does have a pad. And I believe that is... I believe that's not a glitch. 15. 13. See which way zone pulls, chat. Who's going to get it? Which players, which team's going to get it? 
Does Ritual pull zone? The Booger moment. Game, game five. I was going to say game six. Last game. Rituals pull zone. Nice. Okay. The, the RNG gods with Rituals here tonight. First place pulls half half with a pad. So he is now looking good for first rotating. Meanwhile, Vert in second gets pretty much an opposite half half. Ooh. Sorry, chat. I think it's frozen really quickly. Never mind. We're good. No pad here for Vert either. So Vert's going to have to find a pad. He's got five splashes. So he can play Storm a little bit. He can take a bit of damage, find that pad if someone else uses it. And Narwhal, meanwhile, also has a very rough rotate. Again, zero pads for Narwhal. Looks like someone's using the uh, the Terry Tate here. What's Narwhal going to do? Narwhal's going to take some shots on play. He's going to play aggressive from the backside. Narwhal drops down. Looks like he's looking for... Can he get a right? Can Narwhal hit your right? Who's got the car? Narwhal's looking for it. Narwhal's trying to find it. He's also he's trying to look for the Terry Tate. Wait. Wait. Narwhal's looking for the Terry Tate. He can't do it. He doesn't know where it is. He can't find it. It's been blocked off. Narwhal's going to have to run. He was baking on using the geyser effect from Terry underground. And unfortunately, it's blocked off with the floor and it takes too long. Narwhal now has to run this. This is third place we're watching right now. He's only 11 points behind first and one point behind second. Narwhal has to make this rotate so smart. The whole lobby's in. Narwhal is the singular player not in right now, and he knows it. 81 health, 73 health, 65 health, 57. He's got the, he's got the splashes. He's going to stay back. He's going to play the splash. He's going to chill for a bit. Going to find his way in on the edge. I think he missed that one. Land nerves, land nerves. All right, Narwhal makes his way in. Plays the splash as well. Very scary rotate. You know he was nervous. Meanwhile, Vert in second finds his way in. 82. Oh, I was going to say 82 builds. Vert is chilling right now. Vert gets the absolutely massive refresh. Meanwhile, Z Ritual all the way at the bottom here. Currently in first. 10 point lead on second, 11 point lead on third. That was going into this game. He's still on zero elims though. So that lead is being cut down elim by elim. Can Rituals hold on? 86 builds. He's looking so good right now. One sixty. Oh, that's about to say. Never mind. Four hundred eighty-three above. Jeez, Ritual's aim must be crazy. Zero elims. Is the guy with zero earns alive? I believe, chat. It's very hard right now with the leaderboard not in order to cover everyone. I'm sorry. So Ritual's going to try and hit this rotate. 487 above. He's got one pad. He's going to choose to use his pad rather than trying to find and recycle someone else's. He has six splashes still as well. So we could try a bit of a double dip on someone else's pad if they drop it. But he is going to play this one safe. He's going to rotate down, find a nice little mid-ground layer. Tozy Alpha, our EU contingent, trying to make his rotate through this one. Luke's looking a bit rough, but all eyes on Rituals. Can he hold on to his lead? Because I, I believe Vert is still going. Narwhal's still going. I think Kenlu's still going. Everyone down the leaderboard is still going. So is Rituals. Kenlu goes down. No, the Cinderella run. The zero earns to land win dream is dead, but still huge respect to Kenlu. He's going to earn something today. He's going to get at least top 25. So Kenlu getting his first earnings on land. Unfortunately, it couldn't be the Cinderella win, but big shout out to Kenlu either way. Rituals now making his way to front side. 569 above. Where's Bird in all this? Let's see if I can. I'll do a bit of a drone shot. See if I can get eyes on some of the other teams as well. So we've got rituals down below. We've got right now. We've got Avon fighting up above. I don't see Vert in this one right now. There's Vert. Vert's down here on the right. I don't see Narwhal either though. I believe Narwhal's still alive, and I believe Vert is still alive. So top three. The podium is still up. But rituals is trying to play his mats as best he can. He's running out. Rituals is gonna need a refresh pretty soon. Is this old tarp? I know this is an old tarp. He just edited that. I swear it was an old tarp. Vert gets another elim. So Vert cutting down this gap. Rituals right there doesn't jump in on the on the edited floor. That could have been the refresh Rituals needs. He's playing this safe right now. I don't want to say he's playing scared. But the pressure's on and he knows it. Yuz still going. So so far I think Vert. I think Vert and Narwhal still going in this. Tozy Alpha up above. Blake manages to get an elim. Blake's going to take some damage to the side. OG's going to go down. Moose is still here. Narwhal, this is third place. 
Narwhal's got zero builds, zero elims. So Narwhal needs to catch up right now. He's not getting the elims. He needs a placement. He honestly might need some elims in placement because he went into this game 10 points down and Rituals is not going down. Rituals, one build, zero elims. Can Rituals survive the rotate jumps? That's Narwhal. That's first on the third. Rituals takes down third. Where is Vert? Vert right now is our best chance of dethroning Rituals. Meanwhile, he is holding on for dear life. Is Vert? There's Vert. Vert is still going. Zero builds and he takes down Blood. Every, oh my God, he takes down Blade. Vert is going crazy. Every time Rituals pushes ahead, Vert steps up and catches up as well. So Vert is still going four elims. That's eight points. They went into this game on a 10 point difference. So with one elim for Ritual, four for Vert, he's closing that gap. Vert is on the other side of this wall right now. Rituals has one build left. Can Vert find his way through this? Vert is doing fantastic as well. Is that Ritual? It is. This is first on a second. We saw first on a third. Can Vert take down second, sorry, third place and first place? Vert is doing everything he can to win this tourney, but this is going to be rough. Full metal wall. He has to break his way through. He's going to take some big damage. Vert's backing up. Rituals is still going somewhere in this lobby. Rituals is still in this. Rituals is playing zone. Vert is playing zone. Vert drops down. I think that might be Vert. That wasn't. Nerf face goes down. Rituals and Vert are neck and neck, and they're still pushing forward. Whoever goes down first will most likely lose. There is only a few placement points in this last game of the first major LAN event in years. And we have first and second both alive, top seven. No, Vert went down. No, Vert died. I'm sorry, I missed the chat. Vert did fall. I think this might be it then. I'm sorry. I believe it might be it. Rituals goes down as well. I think that's it. Who else is here? Can anyone else win this? Alige, no. Nos, no. Nani, I think that might be it. The in-game leaderboard is wrong. I think that's it. Squish is still here. Zooks is still here. Squish is going to take down Zuko. Squish still pushing through. Wale is still here too. Fluga and Moose. I don't think any of them can overtake. Moose was 17. And, I, and Fluga was 15. But I don't think that's going to be close enough. We'll have to see. Fluga's on the low ground. Wale around this corner. Going to drop down. Missed the shot on the Squish, but he hits the SMG shot. Wale goes down. It's Fluga versus Moose in a 1v1 right now. Both these players were top 15. And Moose very quickly puts down Fluga. And we're going to have to wait for Unite to catch up. I apologize for missing Vert go down there. I don't know how I missed it, but we'll see if the tournament, we'll see if managed, did Vert manage to win it or is it Rituals? Okay, Rituals in first on 103 points is going to close it out though. Vert in second on 98, Wale 93, Moose 88, Fluga 86, Narwhal 83, Zuki 79, Zuko 78, Blood 77, Canlu 72, then for the top 25 for money, we have Nossen, Alige, Day, Diego, Quanti, Nani, Nexi, Squish, Reet, uh, Walter, Epic, Nerface, Tristan, Plague, and Thoric. And then OG just missed out on money on the tiebreak. The truth.